Alright everyone, welcome to episode 11, that's right, 11 of the No Name Podcast. My name is Mr. Moopsy, I am one of your hosts. Uh, for the uh, people, uh, state your name and your shill. My name is Cosmo Jazz, and I only shill for Cheetos. My name is Venom. Because I like to uh, uh, play games that nobody else likes. Who here? Who here likes Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde for the NES? I certainly do. That's a bad show. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, here he is finally. Holy crap! Eddie, state your name and your what, show. Would you fall in the shower? Hey, Roddy. Oh uh, no. Nah, it was a uh, it was a mixture of needing to take a shower, having a different family member be in the shower, and then finally getting the shower, and then also being hungry. Nice. Oh, nice. All right. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> state your name and your shill. Hurry. And then eating in the shower. Baker is my name. If there's any type of shilling that I'm going to do, it's going to be for Rainbow Six Siege because I love that game so much. Please give me Rainbow Six credits. <laughs> I can't afford them on myself. I cannot afford them on my own. Uh, and as I said, Mr. Um, Mr. Moopsy and I shill for Capcom and Nintendo. Capcom? Wow. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> I'll say it. <laughs> Uh, his dad his dad works for Nintendo and his mom works for Capcom. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna get Mega Man eleven free. Alright, Jess, so <laughs> go ahead and For the Switch. <laughs> That's kind of what I was going for. <laughs> but anyway, uh tell us the uh stuff we're gonna talk about today. Alright, so for today we we're going to be talking about Tekken 7 Season 2, Spider-Man Review, and the controversy surrounding it. I hear it has something to do with puddles. Um, oh the security God. of events for games in general. I, I hear... Right, okay. Did you finish that statement? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like <laughs> on a delay. <laughs> Either that or he's just like that fucking distracted with his videos. Why are you mm. watching Pornhub during the podcast? No, I'm man. right here. I'm listening. But you were going to say something. No, I'm, I'm watching the evolution of Scorpion and Spider-Man games. I told you. That was the video. Okay, just keep going. I, I was, and then, and then that's what everyone... <laughs> just, just keep going. <laughs> Jaws? Alrighty. Then we're going to talk about the Battlefield 5 controversy, and as well as the Angry Joe controversy surrounding that. Uh, Street Fighter Five leaks, uh, Ono's replacement, and season two Dragon Ball Fighters picks. Now let's. I'm going to uh, do a disclaimer though first before we get to this because there have been a couple of people on my Twitter who have been asking me why don't we do these podcasts more. Now the original answer was mainly just time and news was just kind of scarce. Um, but now there's a certain thing in the YouTube algorithm that's happening and the coin term for it right now is called subscriber burn. And what it is, is that when you post a video and it does, I don't know, let's say 200,000 views or something like that. Pretty good, right? But then you post a video that's similar to it. It's like our podcast and it only gets 1900 thousand views or something like that lower than what you got what ends up happening is that you will no longer be seeing those videos the more often I, they get posted because the viewers uh view count is lower on each one it doesn't matter if it grows over time to be above That's that uh, video yeah it's, it's really dumb like it, it doesn't matter if it grows over time to be bigger than the other video you just won't see it unless you're like really looking for it and that's for, like, subscribers, non-subscribers, non you recommended at all. Yeah, so, rude to, YouTube doesn't know how to run a business. Exactly. 
So, um, what's happening really there is that what we're trying to do is figure out a way around this, really. <laughs> and I have, like, done uh, an idea for Moopsy and uh, Eddie, which I'll fill you in later, Venom, on that. Um, but until then, right now, the schedule is going to be the way it is. We have for a now. crack team of scientists working on this bullshit. Yeah. So <laughs> they're done. Uh, we've we're 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 con uh, concocting expeditions, burning millions of dollars to figure out the truth. Mm. We also need the golden idol. Mm. Alrighty. So now that that disclaimer is out of the way, I believe that was the only disclaimer I had. Um, Unless you want to talk. Unless like. Well, we'll get to we'll get to it when uh, we get to battlefield. All right. Um, but let's go ahead and get on with the first one, which is Tekken Seven, the season two, which is mainly going to be me and Eddie on this one. But feel free to ask any questions you guys might have. When's Negan? Uh, Negan is probably going to be next year. Well, didn't we already? Well, didn't we already talk about Tekken 7 in our Evo pe podcast? We couldn't Well, yeah, the, the announcement of it. We didn't talk about the actual release of it, which just happened. <laughs> and I mean, like... I, well, only, I mean, only two characters came out. I'm starting well, to see... Two, I'm to hear, like, an we already knew right now. What's that, Eddie? I feel as though Venom is trying to be biased against us. I mean, Jidim's always biased. This is nothing new. <laughs> yeah, but are we sure that we want to take the criticism of some guy who plays Destiny fucking 2? Oh. I mean, I'm ignoring him as we speak. So, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> How come you guys didn't say Bamco was your shit? <laughs> I mean, it's not really. <laughs> right, frankly, I don't want Bamco to be my shill. <laughs> But, okay, go ahead. All right, so before we were rudely interrupted by the shill that is known as Venom on Destiny 2, um, <laughs> we were going to talk about the Tekken 7 um, patches, uh, the characters, and all that other stuff. So, Eddie, is there anything point you want to go to first? Yeah, why is every character getting fucking buffs and shit? Everybody should be getting nerfed, except Yoshimitsu, because I said so. <laughs> Well, no, they they have, <laughs> because get on that because horizon. there's that expression when when all when all when all characters are, when all characters are broken then nobody's broken. Nah, <laughs> that works for Marvel, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, it's fine. It's everything is fine. Um, as far as characters along the, across the board goes, everything that was being abused got nerfed. Everything that was worthless got buffed. Mm. In a nutshell. In a nutshell. So it's like they're trying good. to round trying to round the characters out. And you know what? Tears still don't fucking matter in Tekken. No, they don't. Or like Tekken's always been like well, a game more about skill than anything. A lowest tier character can beat the highest tier person if the person's that good. <laughs> Good. It won't come. It won't God, come imagine if they bring in Doctor Doctor Bob. Who are you talking about? Why are you high? <laughs> yeah, who the hell is Doctor Bob? <laughs> what do you mean? Don't you mean Doctor you know, Bobovich? Uh, what's her name? All right, you don't know. What yeah, <laughs> exactly. I, I you don't even know. <laughs> Bob. How did Venom. No, but I thought his first name was Bob. Bob Bosconovich. No, his first no. Oh, wait. I'm, they maybe were thinking of Fat Bob. Never mind. You are thinking of Fat Bob. Yeah, you are. <laughs> You're <laughs> also thinking that. of Dr. Bosconovich, man. Or Bosconovich, whatever your pronunciation wants. Oh, yeah. Uh, I always go for the other one. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> basically, Ali Alina's dad, or creator. Is that her name? Alyssa. Well, 
Alyssa, there you go. You can still what everyone says is that that's her dad, even though... <laughs> Are you really showing the much you don't know about the game? <laughs> that's like and I really shit. don't want people, like, blowing up <laughs> my YouTube channel with your shit. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, why is Venom on this podcast and all this fucking bullshit? <laughs> it's, like, it's like you have the people that say that the, he's her dad, and then people that say he's her creator just fighting in the comments. <laughs> Starting a war. Yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> don't you want the views? Mm, not those views. <laughs> <laughs> not from those people. <laughs> but no, I mean, mainly the the big thing for the patch that's which just got changed right. was um um Lars uh four one two I think it was uh, right Eddie. I think so. Or four two one. Which is actually kind of hilarious how people like blew that way out of proportion in my opinion. But, like, oh my god, oh my god, he's back, why, bro. What's wrong with it? The Buff Lars movement has returned and I started having nightmares and shit. No, it's back, oh god. <laughs> Just had a nightmare. <laughs> Well, we had the Nerf Lars movement for a second. <laughs> <laughs> that character just can't win, apparently. It's like every scary... It's like every scary movie that Baker sees now, just the, char- the scary character just looks like Lars. <laughs> <laughs> Not even looks like Lars. Like, it, like any, any scary figure from like a horror movie's past, its face just gets replaced with the text of hashtag buff Lars. Oh, oh my god, no! Rowdy oh. says that that was mad annoying to deal with. <laughs> I mean, we ain't had to deal with that for very long, man, so. Nah. Or yeah, but I say it lasted less than a week. I didn't yeah. deal with that at all. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I did deal with that. I did play someone who played Lars and did nothing but abuse that move. Did you win? Uh, no. I wasn't mm-hmm. picking my main character in a player match because, you know. Later, Rowdy. I'm not an mm-hmm. I'm not an asshole. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that. <laughs> in Wakanda, we don't do that here. <laughs> but um no, I mean um, overall, like as far as patches go, I'm actually kind of happy with most of the patches. I'm not happy with how Anna is right now, but I'm sure that'll get changed over time. Um, Lay is kind Whoa. of crazy. What's wrong with Anna? Oh no. <laughs> um, she's kind of busted in like things that should work with her aren't working with her. For example, where she has a full crouch like down to which is like full crouch square, uh, not square triangle. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, um. But she's supposed to get a combo with another move, but it doesn't hit sometimes. And that's because you have to, like, hold down, down forward for some reason. Even then, it doesn't hit all the time. And it's, like, a lot of stuff that happens like that. Kind of. It almost is literally like that, because she does kind of move slightly up. (laughs) Tip toeing in my heels, Mm -hmm. heels. (laughs) Yeah, her bread, her bread and butters aren't even working properly, mm-hmm. and that's the problem. Like she shouldn't have this much problem with a lot of the stuff she's doing. Like now it's just like moldy bread. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we know we know you liked her back in tag two, so we're just gonna take her from tag two and not really adjust her well. <laughs> <laughs> That and a couple of moves got like, um, well, are non existent. Uh, like her down back to 1 1, I mean, or down back square square. Rowdy says, at least she looks good. That I cannot deny. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> but no, other, other than that, like, I, one thing I was telling Eddie the other day is that like a lot i'm not seeing a lot of people playing her either like it's growing as uh like right now but like if you take the difference between her and lay it's insane like you can look up lay and like you'll see a billion matches of him doing ring matches and shit 
But if you look up Anna, it's like combo vid after combo vid, and that's it. <laughs> yep. That is a thing. <laughs> that is a thing. <laughs> but no, um, now people are, of course, because you know how the internet is, they're asking about when's the next character. <laughs> These just came out like two, like not even a, two weeks ago, like a week ago. <laughs> And it's like, all right, so uh, when, when when we get in that next fix, Harada, huh? <laughs> it just came out like 10 minutes ago. Don't, don't ask me for shit. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think they would listen to a shirt, right? No, this is the internet we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's like, it's been less than two weeks. <laughs> it literally has. I think it's just been a week as we speak. <laughs> I mean, then again, um, don't forget that, uh, like, one of the people in this podcast, like, was asking for season, f- like, uh, four stuff after, like, season three Street Fighter content was released. Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't understand that. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't get it either. It's just kind of like, it just came out. <laughs> just like, all right, it's out. <laughs> Man, I'm downloading these characters as I speak. Oh, boy. So when's the next one's coming out, huh? <laughs> Damn, I'm bored. Just <laughs> <laughs> the new characters. That's how bored I am. <laughs> all right. Dude. Yes, yes. We all know you're talking about me. Gee. What? Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? No. Yes, yes. Calm, calm your tits. Calm your tits, children. (laughs) 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 Rowdy. (laughs) Rabba, 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 rabba. He's just going crazy. He's just like, where's Makoto? I need season four now. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's pretty much it. Because, like, not a lot was, like, huge when it came to the patch notes so it was just like oh my gosh this is so broken it's just like oh my character got buff nice like yeah mm-hmm. i think wasn't it the the two biggest things essentially for the tekken update was like the wall bounces and the new characters that was like the biggest stuff yeah yeah with some wall bounces i've come to find are kind of useless <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot harada <laughs> <laughs> Time to email Rada again. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. God damn it! I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like your finger gonna right over it. the enter to send. It's just like I do it. Don't think I fucking won't do it. <laughs> you just you just got like your phone or or his his Twitter account, and all you gotta do is just type in a few letters. <laughs> Rowdy, I'll, fuck, I'll fucking press enter, motherfucker. Don't think I won't do it. Rowdy wants to know if are all the wall bounces uh, save. No. No. I think Noctis is uh, not safe, right? I mean, isn't like Noctis basically like still trash tier, though? <laughs> he got better. I won't say he's trash tier now, but he's still not like up there. <laughs> I like how it was just like, he got better. <laughs> <laughs> just like the long pause. <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck that. Knock this guy buffed the shit. Yeah. Well, cause in back in back in the previous patch, his shoulder charge was negative fourteen. It's now negative thirteen, and it can give you a wall bounce now. Mm-hmm. Even in the roll dodge stance, like it'll still do the same thing. Like, can I just say one thing uh, about no, like no, Final not Fantasy at all. in regards not even to a single Bounce. thing? Oh, no, not anyway, a goddamn single thing. <laughs> uh, I would honestly be kind of pissed off if, like, for uh, for Soul Calibur Six, that's the newest one coming out, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. For for Soul Calibur Six, they put in another Final Fantasy fifteen character. But who? Ooh, Glad Gladio? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. The first place I thought was Gladio, but why? We I, already have Siegfried. <laughs> I mean, that'd be like the stupid thing, though. That's what I'm saying. If I, why I'd be pissed? Because it'd be a or you, or you put position. It, put in or you put. <laughs> you thought Noctis was gonna be cheap. In <laughs> or you put in. You put in. Uh, Wait. <laughs> you put in fucking uh, Ignis, and he's just like, I come up with a new recipe, and he just like throws food at you. <laughs> covers up your screen and smudges it. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, I would die if they put Prompto in there. 
How would he work? He's a I don't hunter. even know. He would, he would just, he would just, sh- <laughs> he would just shoot you. That's it. You just shoot. Yeah, but in a fighting game, <laughs> come on, bro. Come on, bro. Hey, Fuck man. If, if, if Akuma can, can pistol whip you, I, I know. And plus, if Akuma can throw fireballs and and geese can give you repukins, why not just an ordinary bullet? Because because it's a bullet. You know, <laughs> <laughs> You make it sound like it's a bad numbers. thing, Jazz. We're, we're talking about we're talking about Soul Calibur right now, Venom, not Tekken. <laughs> well, maybe Soul Calibur needs a projectile now. No, nah, it really doesn't. Uh, I, I, I was gonna ask, don't they have one? Yeah, they do. Yeah, so it's just like there you go. Well, but it's not a gun. I mean, it's, well, it's a sword gun. So uh, it's close. Oh, they mm-hmm. wait squalls in it. No, no. Cervantes. <laughs> Cervantes. Cool. I know, I know. I was fucking just messing around. Go, go to your room. I am in my Clean room. Clean your room. <laughs> Good, stay there. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah, Rowdy says uh, Taki can throw stuff and Ivy's got the sword whip thing. Yeah. Exactly what uh, Rowdy said. And also, uh, Cervantes has his guns, and I think the new boss character has Algol shit, so he'll be do like fireballs too. Oh, great! <laughs> Fun. I mean, they were slow as shit, so I'm not really <laughs> like bothered by it. <laughs> anyway, who was who couldn't dodge them? I was just thinking, like looking at them, like, why are you playing this game? <laughs> <laughs> he says that to me. It's just like because. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it's gonna hit me! Two years later. Oh god, it's so close! <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so I guess next topic? Yep, next topic. Which will be. Trans- the Spider Man review! Spider Man! Spider Man! So, do we want to get the controversy out of the way, or. Do I mean, it's, it it's like freaking a non controversy at this point, so. It really is. Like. Basically, people were getting super upset at the fact that puddles were looking like not as shiny or some shit. It was stupid, really, when you think about it, when you actually play the game. I'm surprised <laughs> nobody's talking about the boat people. Boat people. Well, see, that's an actual an Easter egg. Uh, it's an Easter, be, uh, Easter egg to what? <laughs> for Spider-Man 2. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I hmm. never noticed. Yeah, I like, neither did I. Yeah, that's actually like a, a legit Easter egg. They uh they posted it somewhere. I can't. Um, it's like somewhere on Twitter. I'm not gonna look at it because that'll take you a while to like get out. I'll just put it in post. <laughs> and, and, and I can't body. <laughs> I'll just like, put it. In like post I remember. For <laughs> I remember some people were like saying like, "What the fuck is this? Like, look at these horrible boat people." And like, it's like you do know it's an Easter egg, right? <laughs> Yeah, they're like, oh, this is just like I people just that, get yeah. upset so quick. Yeah, exactly. That's I, exactly I, I, how people were. I just want to know you did. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> you don't really fucking take that fucking attitude. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I'm a video game expert, so I knew it was an Easter egg this whole goddamn time. <laughs> like, I play Call of Duty. You play anything else? No, because I'm not a nerd. It's like fucking dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, play mad. And What's your PSN? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, do you play Hearthstone? Heart what? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh, I do play another game, Madden. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> too much... soon, bro. Too soon. really too soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying Madden in general. I'm not saying about like the recent game. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> <laughs> too soon, Nami. Go to your room! <laughs> oh, everything's too soon. <laughs> I mean, in the Hindenburg was overall. too soon. <laughs> World War II was too soon. <laughs> Venom, stop all your head. Please. <laughs> Don't make me mute you. <laughs> He'll do it, too. <laughs> He's a pro gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. <laughs> but I mean, so now, like... You- yeah, like, in terms of, like, the whole puddle thing, like, fucking, I would say, fucking, just check out Young Ye's video. He's just, like, he just covers everything, where it's just, like, it's tiny details that don't even really matter. Plus, I kind of like the after thing, because everything's more vibrant in color. 
like it feels like a real comic book thing. <laughs> yeah, like Spider Man's colors definitely pop out more in comparison to the old uh, trailer. Yeah, because when you really look at it. Another thing that people need to understand about these game demos versus the actual retail release of these games is that um, at E3, they're only showing off a demonstration of one section, like one mediocre section of a game like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So it's like, like, so it's like the graphical, everybody's like, everybody gets all up in arms about like a graphical downgrade that a game has because it's like, oh, it didn't look exactly the way it did at E3, but people forget that. That's just a small room in a demonstration of an open world game. And it's like, you're not going to be able to keep the graphical fidelity of that, of a, a huge ass open world game like fucking Spider Man, bro. Oh, yeah. Fuck oh, it. yeah, especially. Because like, uh, like, I remember like the whole division thing that is like, it had like a, a bunch of insane weather and all that stuff. But it's just like, that's a small localized area. And you're asking for that like whole thing to happen throughout the whole open world game. And it's like, that's, those shits get huge. And like, of course, the system and data can't handle that shit. I don't yeah, even like, know. Your, your PS4 I don't even know. Fucking melt. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I don't even notice the puddle. Like, is it really that big of a deal? Not really. You like if you're paying attention to that puddle, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't even notice. Like I notice it's raining, but I don't notice puddles. <laughs> like it'll be fucking like there's a giant dragon and some fucking insane monster with like five heads and shit, and it's just like wow, check out that bush. <laughs> yeah, like, or it's like. Or it's like on the dragon's head, it's like one whisker isn't like whisking in the wind as the other whisker is, and it's like zero out of oh, ten. Yeah, and then fucking people go on the internet and lose their shit. It's like, I noticed that one fucking hair that totally ruined my experience. I want my money back. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I screwed them nerds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they make us nerds look bad. Uh, yeah. Yes, they really yes, do. They will. Like, everybody's just like, oh my god. The puddle is gone. Yo, nigga, if you know Spider-Man, nigga, you know puddles, my nigga. You know them shits are always together. Damn straight. <laughs> Can I see your fucking certificate of puddles? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, dumb, dumb stuff like that. Of course, a whole... Uh, it's like people get so caught up with the fucking puddle being uh, not even not even missing, but just moved somewhere else. Yeah, they just, don't even play the fucking game. It's yeah, like, is the say- game fun? Like fucking like the puddle got moved and it's just like fucking that that's it really that's your big fucking point of contention. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just like I have my pitchfork and it is on fire. I must raise hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, this got to waste. What are we mad about today? <laughs> the pitchfork <laughs> is on. They're just like they're just like man. Name. Man, these guys put a lot of hard work and effort into their games. Man, this is fucking man. I wish I could hate this. <laughs> and then it's like and then it's like they when they get their pitchforks out and they look at it and like one of the pitchfork points is like shorter than one of the others and like what the fuck's wrong with my pitchfork i'm gonna complain to the guys who sold me this the pitchfork company <laughs> yeah i'm mad about your how why you're mad <laughs> I live for this reason. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for giving me life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what fucking Rowdy said. <laughs> yeah, I don't, but I, don't I mean, like, okay, it. let's let's get over to the stupid shit. And let's talk about what we think about the Spider-Man game as a whole. Wait, yeah. hold on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's got one more. Re- re- <laughs> 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 now, here's another thing that you guys might all re with me about. Uh, there was another Easter egg where there was this gamer who talked to the developers and just was like, hey, Oh I'm my not... god, who doesn't know that mm-hmm. fucking story? I mean, what wanted, happened? I wanted to... God really? damn it, Venom. <laughs> let, him, <laughs> let him finish, Venom. Damn oh, it. I, I, I just <laughs> wanted to know if he was going to tell the story. Boy! <laughs> <laughs> I was, but yeah, there was this gamer that wanted to propose to his girlfriend of like three years. And... He talked to the developers. He's just like, "Hey, man, I want to do this thing, right? Do you do you think you can make this happen?" He was just like, "Yeah, sure, let's do this thing, sure." Then they got to talking about it, but then the game came out and he was playing it and he proposed in front of a (laughs) movie theater. Well, it was a movie theater that said, "Maddie, will you marry me?" And she she said no. She said no. I'm good. Yeah. She chucked Deuce and then left. 
Like apparently wow. for apparently for his half brother too, but it's like people being harassed on both ends. News outlets was asking, and she's like, well, "Why didn't you marry him?" And it's just like, "Yeah, look, it's not, it's not as good. The relationship was not going as well as you thought it was." And it kind of, if she put some bad light on herself because she was like, "I don't want to be proposed to like that. I don't want to get proposed to in a video game. That's fucking gay." Instead, go to an anime convention and propose to me there. Yeah, because <laughs> like, like he, yeah. he's he's pretty right. Because like I I looked into this, uh not that extensively, but uh, what happened was that it was like he said, fucking the dude talked to the the, the insomniac devs, and he said, you know, can you put this Easter egg so that I can fucking marry my girlfriend? And mm-hmm. the the big thing about the whole thing is that they both come out looking bad, you know, like I would say in fairness because. Uh, I mean, like, the obvious shit would be, like, you know, to go after the girlfriend because, like, she's the one that left the dude, didn't like the way the, the proposal happened, and fucking, uh, she fucking went out, she she started dating the the brother. Yeah. The thing uh, she, is... Yeah, she, well, go ahead. Yeah, she, so she, what they, what people said, what the dude said in the video, which doesn't get him over at all, was that he, that she left him for his half-brother. And so, like, you know, she ends up looking bad like that, too. The thing is that on the other side is that what the girlfriend was saying is that the reason she left the fucking relationship in the first place was because apparently he became like the stereotype lazy gamer where he's just kind of like he's not really dating the girl as much as it is. She's taking care of him. You know, he he wasn't putting in any effort, too. So it's kind of like no wonder she left your ass, too. For three years? Yeah, like, so I was saying, t- but for three years though, you they, think you know after the first two at least. Were, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they were having up and downs, and it came to like an ultimatum. It's just like, "Yo, turn your shit around, or I'm leaving." And then they were yeah. trying it, and they were trying it, and ultimately it just didn't work out. And However, the boyf- oh, what's up? What's up, Venom? Well, I was gonna say, and then the boyfriend just thought, you know what? The way I can fix this, I'll marry her. <laughs> In and, a video game. <laughs> I mean, cause, and, like she said that, like I don't even really like video games, and it's just kind of like fucking. Uh, the, the the whole situation was kind of like fucked from the start. Oh yeah, like, absolutely. It's just like whoa, bro, damn, man. Yeah. Well, here's and, uh, another good part, though. Someone got married off of that. <laughs> I, was, I, was gonna, I was gonna get to that too. It's just like yeah, somebody apparently a different dude proposed to another girl named uh, Maddie. And it worked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she appreciates the Spider-Man game. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like it wasn't the best, but hey, like it it worked for someone, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Like it, they, they, all the effort wasn't gone to waste. Exactly. Yeah. Also, also a bit of extra details involved was that the original guy, the gamer who got it put in there the first time around. After like after shit had hit the fan, uh, there was just, the Insomniac uh, developers were like, "Hey man, you want us to patch this out? Cause we can we can do it for you." He said, and, and the dude said, "You know, instead of patching it out, try changing it around to a tribute for uh, one of his family members that died of cancer. His grandma, not too long. His grandmother who died of cancer not too long ago." And he said that the reason he wanted it to uh, be dedicated to her is because she got him his first Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, Spider Man. And Insomnia said, fuck you to that and never talk to him again. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't at me. <laughs> at this man. <laughs> at him. <laughs> but see, but see, at least the guy turned that negative into a positive. I mean, yeah, he was still kind of uh whatever, but at least he was able to change it. I mean that's something. that that's pretty true, because most of the internet would have just gone like, I'm Pickle Rick, and then just fucking fucked off. Yeah. And it's like, they both they both got warranted and unwarranted harassment from it. Oh, yeah. Mm. But, but because of that, like, nobody got over from the situation at all. Spider-Man mm. is a great game. <laughs> Everybody, everyone loves it. Yep. Mm. Spider Man. Now I'll listen to our review. <laughs> now, now I'll ju- I'll just want to say like one of my one of the good things, which is kind of a nitpick, but a good, in a good way, is the fact that like you can change costumes anywhere, 
rather than having to go to your house to change costumes. Like, I like that more than... Because, like, that's what they did in Amazing Spider-Man 2, is you had to go to your apartment. That game sucked. Yeah, don't bring I it know. up. I know. Why would you bring that up? I hate but you. I'm just, <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why, that's why Amazing Spider-Man... One of the reasons why Amazing Spider-Man 2 sucked was because you had to go to your apartment, change into the costume, and then go right back out. But at least in this game, you can actually just change anywhere. Wait, I'm confused. I'm gonna help you out here for a second. <laughs> yeah, please do. A positive, a positive nitpick is called a praise. Yeah. Oh, a praise. Because a nitpick is like like something minor that you dislike, but you're like, man, I love this thing. Okay. <laughs> what the this hell is like, what are you rowdy? talking about? <laughs> yeah, because I have a nitpick, but it's positive. I'm like, wait, those two contradict each other. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> but yeah, like that's that's a praise of mine is that the fact that you can change costumes anywhere and not just in your house, which I like. I mean, like a lot of the Spider-Man games were basically like you have to go to a specific menu to change costumes. So it's like this is one to where it's like you have a specific menu, but you know you can do it out in the world. I, I yeah. even did it like during missions. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're not just stuck with it until the mission's over. At least they didn't treat it like a real life Spider Man simulator and treated it as like a fucking video game. Mm -hmm. And you can, and it's like, it's like you can appreciate that because it's just like, man, this is exactly how the Spider Man series goes. But it's a video game. Mm hmm. <laughs> So it's like, man, that makes it a lot better. At least I think so. But I never played Spider-Man yet. Damn. What I did watch was my best friend Lee play it, and I've made clips of where keeping it real goes wrong. <laughs> that is it. But, nah, fucking, like, Spider-Man really is a, a great fucking game, and people should definitely give it a shot if you're a Spider-Man fan. Absolutely. Let's talk about that, shall we? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, well, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you good. No, you. <laughs> no, you. No, you. <laughs> you mother, you fucking. Okay. Um, because I was gonna say like I imagine we all have like fucking roughly the same kinds of like praise we want to uh, give the game, where it's like it's got great swinging, a lot of the actions fun. We love like the fucking villain variety. Uh, the story's fucking great. Like uh, the, uh, the ending, I was kind, I was kind of choked up a little bit. I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but I was just kind of like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, I was about to say, you bastard. I'm still playing it, <laughs> so don't say anything. <laughs> but so, uh, I mean, is there anything else you want to add to that, Jess, before we get to our nitpicks? No, nah, I mean, I loved all the boss fights. They all were very unique in their own way to me. Um, yeah, swinging was therapeutic. I like that. <laughs> uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, story was great. Everything really was really good about the game. <laughs> yeah, because one thing I also want to say about the swinging is that, like, fucking, uh, I I beat it a couple days ago, and mm. now, and now I'm playing a uh, Dragon Quest Eleven, fun game by the way, mm. and fucking like I still fucking pop in Spider Man from time to time because I'm just like I just want to swing. Exactly, and that's what the Spider Man game should do. This is like just you just want to swing, man. <laughs> just be Spider Man. <laughs> I mean, I'll I'll put this spider-man up with spider-man 2 for ps2 and shattered dimensions like it's it's a really good game so far i'm actually gonna put it above those games especially shattered dimensions because oh, yeah, i had especially. problems with that game so did <laughs> well it did it did have its share of problems but it, i mean it was it's like maybe a 7 out of 10 game but it's still better than a few other spider-man games like Amen the one you plugged in earlier Exactly. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but uh, I guess we can get into our nitpicks now. Uh, well, do you want to give do you want to give reviews first and then nitpicks, or or the other way around? Uh, Wait, reviews that... first. Okay. Uh, who wants to go first? Because I got mine. If you guys aren't ready yet. Um, I don't have one. Yeah, let's say Eddie doesn't have one. Okay, Eddie Epstein. Uh, Venom's still playing. So All I right. guess it's just us two. <laughs> Alright, I, I guess I'll just fucking go first. First of all, you guys are nerds. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, for me, I give it, for my rating system, I give it an 8.9 out of 10. Uh, mm. I, like, I mean, we obviously can just keep 
jerking off the same positive, so I'll just go into my nitpicks, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, language. <laughs> language. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Christian podcast. Oh. I am a pope here. <laughs> <laughs> Say that shit. <laughs> Wait, I'm a Satanist. What the hell am I doing here then? <laughs> We don't talk about that here. <laughs> Satan! <laughs> but, uh, because like this, uh, my gripe were, I did love the swinging. I do feel like there could have been some tighter movements, if you guys get what I'm saying. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, like, there could have been some parts where, like, uh, there, there, there could have been some parts where, like, I, I, I'm having a hard time sort of, like, really getting across the point but it's like I okay mean, so I... let me see if i can help with this yeah please. so <laughs> there are literally parts like uh where you have to this is side sweat, side quest stuff so no, no spoilers here on that one but like you have to get bombs and stuff right right and like you're swinging you're trying to get to the bombs and everything and you think you're gonna land on the building but then you go right over the building <laughs> like sometimes it can be kind of floaty sometimes the like the parts where you're jumping can be kind of inaccurate uh sometimes like uh the the web uh, is sort of mismeasured a little bit it mm -hmm. tiny things like that like no, it's not enough to fucking like get you to dislike the swinging at all you're still enjoying it like crap out of it you're just kind of like it's one of those like it's near the target but it's not dead center Mm. Yeah, okay, thank you, Jess. I was dying there. <laughs> it was. <so> cool. <laughs> I got you, man. I got you. <laughs> um, the other thing, the other gripe I had were was uh, I did like some of the gadgets. Others, I kind of felt like they were dull and somewhat useless. Like, no, that's the problem with a lot of games like this. Like, you'll get to the ones that it's like, okay, this is clearly better than everything else you're giving me, so why am I using this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, there was, like, I would normally remember to switch to, like, one or two different fucking uh, gadgets outside of, like, the, the, the standard little web shots. Like, mm -hmm. the, the, I think it was the impact web and the little trap web. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Maybe sometimes the spider drones. Everything else I was just kind of like, I have no use for you. I can either just beat up the villain with a with a combo, or I can just fucking like web him up like normal. So it, it's like you know, I think that they could have had better gadgets for the game. Honestly, the stuff that they had mm -hmm. was interesting, but I could also just be like, you know, what? I just need like three or four gadgets, and I'm fucking good for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, another thing. Another point for me was that I did like the villains. I did like the redesigns. I did like the like the the characterization and all that stuff. The problem I had with it was that like they were all well. Should I say this? Because I'll, I'll I'll type it, Jess, and then you tell me if uh if I should say it or not because it might be spoilery. All right. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> How was your day? <laughs> <laughs> Good, I guess. <laughs> Say good job, guys. <laughs> okay, sent it. Yeah, uh, save that. Okay, uh, I won't say. I'll just say. Uh, I won't say what it is specifically. I'll just say that like there was something I wish they would have changed to the villains. Maybe like next next podcast, I'll I'll dip into it or some shit like that. But uh, yeah. I'll I'll just say it involves the villains. Uh, and mm. then the combat, I felt like they could, um. Like for the combat, I feel like they could have come up with some better combos and stuff. Like one of the things that Spider-Man Two, the movie, or Spider-Man the mo movie Two, whatever fucking game, uh, it had better, like a better combo system than this one. Because like one of the things that I I missed from I missed from like uh, Two is how you could, for example, do like the web lasso thing where like you could fucking chuck the enemies around. Mm -hmm. And because uh, like you did have that, now that I'm remembering, but shit. <laughs> But it was like, mm -hmm. you didn't really have other crazy shit, like cr crazy punch web combos like some of the other games, is what I'm saying. Uh, it, oh, was, wow. it, it was kind That's of like... That's the one uh, thing I have to disagree with you on on that one. <laughs> We've actually got a disagreement on here. <laughs> oh boy, bro. Uh, well, how so? <laughs> Battle oh, Royale! Actually... <laughs> <laughs> Grab your guns. <laughs> Grab your boxing gloves, your guns, your boxing guns. Honestly, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Honestly, I found this uh, fighting uh, mechanics in this one really fun. 
Although that may be because I found the use for all of the web gadgets along with it as well as well as the suit. <laughs> that might be. It. I know. I, I like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was gonna say. I, I also like the fact that you can do web swing from freaking Marvel vs. Capcom in it. Yeah, that was another thing. That was just like, wow, they actually put that in here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The, like the thing, the way I'm trying to phrase it is that it's just like the thing that I, I guess because it boils down to like I, after a certain point, I was able to just boil it down to like five, six specific combos that like I that uh that I ended up using because it was just like I felt like there was not enough like visual combo variety that to make me go like well you know what i can fi- i want to fucking use this attack i want to use this attack you know it was all kind of like i can just use these uh si- like six moves and then i can just fucking like uh get on with the rest of the adventure which is fine for you i didn't feel that way but <laughs> i can i see what you're talking about it's like which is fine <laughs> for you because you're a fucking bitch it's like what wait what what who said that <laughs> 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 it's just like it's just like under your breath you're just like pussy <laughs> <laughs> I heard that you fucked it <laughs> but, uh, like, yeah and I mean go ahead oh sorry I was gonna say that like and yeah and like the one thing I do like too and like again this is another praise is the fact that they make it to where any costume you wear in the game you can see in cutscenes like oh. I always hate like I always hate in games where like you know, you wear a costume and then you go into a cutscene and, like, they're not wearing the costume and they're just wearing, like, their, their regular outfit. Like, like they, they made it now to wear in Spider-Man that you can wear your costume and you can see it in the cutscene. And, like, it's a, pr- it's a little praise, but, like, I just love stuff like that. It's a little anti-criticism. <laughs> but it's, like, <laughs> but it's a, no like that, uh, that's something i definitely agree with because like the whole thing is done in engine so like the parts where you think like oh those look like fantastic fucking cutscenes, but you know they're like cgi or something it's just like no the whole thing is done in engine that's good mm-hmm. there was like and to go off to that point too venom there's literally like things that happen later on in the story which i'm not gonna spo- uh, spoil with the whole costume things and whatnot, yeah. and that actually impressed me too. Uh, and it was just like, oh wow, they actually did that, even though I'm wearing this costume or whatever. So uh, and so forth, <laughs> which oh, I'm not okay. gonna say what it is, but is it the eyes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's up? Is it the eyes? No, 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 uh, some of them do. Some of them are like are, are like still masks, but it's just like I thought that was a really cool detail too. <laughs> yeah, no, that, yeah. <laughs> that is a cool detail though. I, I'm glad you pointed that out because that is like a good thing that they put it around all the other costumes. <laughs> Jess is like you re- you've redeemed yourself after that horrible last point. Like oh, <laughs> <laughs> you are now good in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you you may come back into my friend circle. <laughs> 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 but, uh, I didn't know that was out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm very secretive. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, because, and I, I will say this: I have these criticisms, but I still give the game an eight point nine. So it's just kind of like some people might see it as like you know when you have criticisms, that's when you start shaving away points. It's like it had to have all of these criticisms, all these nitpicks, just for it to take a little bit over a point uh, deduction in my rating. So it's just like clearly, I still think the game's fucking fantastic. And the 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 nitpicks I have is just like these fucking shits could be like uh could be improved in the sequel. I'm looking way looking forward to the sequel. Oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. So it's like yeah, I've got these problems, but at the same time, it's just like pfft, uh, you know, like these things aren't impossible fixes. Not like some other fucking games that are out there where it's just like no, this fucking shit's flawed from the beginning. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, that's I why totally I like agree with that. That's why I like too that the DLCs that are coming out all come out on the uh, the month after the month from the original DLC. If that makes sense. You mean long? sure? <laughs> <laughs> like the like the first the first DLC comes out this month, and then the second one comes out in October, and then the third one comes out in November. I thought Black Hammer so came out like, next month. It does. Oh, okay, well then October, and then November, and then December. So it's not like you have to wait till like spring 2019 for like the third one. Yeah. Mm. I also heard from my friend that uh, apparently like for the DLC that th- like shit that's gonna happen in DLC is also gonna affect like the oh, New York as a whole too. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean from my from what I've experienced, I'm just I'll just say like I give it like a nine out of ten. Hmm. But then um, I'll probably I might change it once I beat the I might change my review once I beat the game. Nice. Which is also a good perspective to have like a halfway point of something. Yeah. Like this is where I am here. I'm... And I think I'm about same with Moopsy with the eight point nine. Although while I don't agree with him on the fighting thing, That's... the reason why it's down there for me is uh bugs that I've ran into. <laughs> Although some of them are quite as hilarious. <laughs> Which is funny because like I haven't run into any bugs, like at all. Which is funny because like a lot of there are a good few people that are just like, hey, I haven't ran into any bugs. I just uh, it's fine. And then there's some that's run into a ton of bugs. And I don't know what's really causing them, but it's one of those things it's like it's not like super game breaking bugs. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> Can I just <laughs> mention that there was like I uh, I played this Amazing Spider-Man one and that one had like fucking stupid game design that literally locked me out of the game. Well, I mean, you were <laughs> like web singing on air, of course you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I said one. <laughs> was that one? Uh, I don't think that wasn't one. Because I swear two was the one where you actually swung on buildings. Maybe I don't even remember at this point, honestly. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Are you talking about the movie game? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The first one had it where, like, like, like I know the part where where you fight Vulture on top of that building, and for some reason Spider Man's swinging in the sky. It's like what? Yeah. What? See, I knew I was well, <laughs> was crazy. Wait, are we talking like <laughs> like like, like Tobey Maguire one or Andrew Garfield one? Because I'm talking Andrew Garfield. No. Oh, I'm I'm talking about Tobey Maguire. Well, yeah. Oh, you're talking about Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I said Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, I thought you said just Spider-Man. Oh no, I, know, I, I thought I thought you said Spider-Man. That's what I was thinking. Like he said you... Spider-Man, not Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, maybe yeah, like the said... Amazing Cut-Off or some shit. But like, no, I said Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you, yeah, because I heard I heard you just say Spider-Man one. So I yeah, thought you that's meant... what I was thinking. <laughs> no, it's like yeah, I I definitely noticed that, but I still find that game fun as hell. Well, no, I'm not saying it's not fun because no, you're like flying in air, <laughs> which is still <laughs> hilarious. But, <laughs> but no, because yeah. like the, the one I'm talking about is like I got locked out in Amazing Spider-Man one. That one's like a piece of shit too. Oh yeah, the Amazing Spider-Man games are shit. <laughs> oh yeah, you you were telling. I think you told me that like a long time ago. That like you went behind a door and then you just couldn't get out. Uh mm. yeah, or like I couldn't go in, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, Amazing Spider-Man. Miss me with that. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Play Marvel Spider-Man. Play Spider-Man 2018. That's all we're saying. Yes. Yeah. Consume <laughs> Spider-Man 2018. <laughs> For you Xbox players, take this L. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, got, you Xbox players can't help us save New York. <laughs> and keep and just and just keep playing Lego Spider Man. <laughs> oh God, that is on there. <laughs> Man, Mama, somewhere in the what world, the an Xbox an Xbox player is gonna watch this and just give you that smooth ass dislike. <laughs> just like, don't just get me wrong. It. He's gonna comment too. It's just like, yo, I like the video, but that Xbox comment, sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have my principles. <laughs> It's like you were my, the, the you were right my, you guys were my, you guys are my <laughs> biggest fans. But once you said that Xbox comment, that's it. I ripped up my posters and threw out all your merchandise. Ooh, we had merchandise. I want my royalties, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> right? no, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> like somebody's making money off my likeness, nigga. I'm broke. Nigga, I'm like, <laughs> we're all broke. That's why we're doing this shit. <laughs> that's what no. That's what I mean. It's like, yo, somebody's about to get the shit suit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm, but yeah, I think we're good on Spider Man now. I mean, I think so. yeah. All right, on to the next one, which is. Security of events at gaming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, as we've mentioned earlier about the whole too soon with Madden right. thing. <laughs> oh, um, oh, that's yeah. what you meant. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, but it wasn't. Yeah, but it wasn't like I was saying like, "Hey, I play Madden. I'm gonna put a gun to your face." Like that. That's too Jesus far. Christ. <laughs> Why, would say, Why would you say that? Anyway, he said it was too far. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Like it wasn't like I said that. <laughs> Why would you say it anyway, though? <laughs> it was just an example. I wasn't really saying it. You I'm going to have to edit that out. <laughs> Master editor. I'm going to have to put a picture of myself saying, yeah, we ain't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> just a picture of Joss with a sensor bar, like, like all cutesy. <laughs> Why is my eye so quiet? Don't ask questions. <laughs> And uh, as we have heard from like a bunch of people lately, like Evo, uh, Joe, what's his name? The Wizard. I always call him Mr. Wizard, but yeah. he has an actual name. But he's already taking measures for it. Um, Jabali. I remember, I remember he was he was going to take measures for it for this year's Evo because some asshole said on stream that he was going to go to Evo and shoot the place up. Oh, yeah, and he did. He absolutely did. Like, security, there was so many reports of security for the um, the finals. It was crazy. Like, literally, it took people uh, even hours to get in at some point. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the way it is. I mean, just look yeah. what happened. <laughs> yeah, and me, me and my All friend right. were pissed. They're just like, all right, listen up, nerds. I know we're here to play games, but I ain't playing no games. In exactly. <laughs> if you're, if you're going up to shoot an event, you're failing at the game of life. Exactly. Especially what of what the guy who you know did the horrible thing, he had the stupidest reason for doing it. Yeah, man. Take that out. Because he got his cheeks clapped in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this is dumb. And he and he was and he was a guy too that said like, "Oh, I'm the best shit ever," and blah blah blah. And then when somebody freaking beat the shit out of him, he's like, "No, I ain't taking that shit." It's mm. like, just take it, dude. Learn from it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, jeez. Yeah. There, there's a lot of talk now going around with security, even getting even more beefy, which uh, has uh, many people like. Saying why wasn't this done before? Obviously, and whatnot. Like for example, people weren't um, pathetic and desperate for one thing. Yeah, the, the, it's true. But like uh, for example, TwitchCon has a lot of people that are saying they're just not going anymore because of the fear of their safety, and a lot of people are also on the fence of going just because of what happened on the Madden event. I'm so su well, I'm surprised it was because of the Madden event than that one event where that YouTube girl got shot. Oh no, that definitely affected things. Don't okay. <laughs> don't get it twisted. It just like, didn't affect it to the point it is now. It affected things. Like it, <laughs> I don't, I I don't the, know about that one. What the hell happened with that one? Which one? The the, the, the YouTube girl? Yeah. yeah, like so this girl was like doing a meet and greet mm -hmm. and this guy just went in and then just pulled a gun out and just shot her. And then, like her brother, her brother took down the shooter, and but like it was already too late. He, he already he already got in like a like good point blank range shooting or shots in. Mm -hmm. And it's that, and it's like a lot of and like, and it's like a lot of YouTube stars made like videos saying like you know she was a good person. I knew her, I knew her a lot, and we were best friends and stuff like that. So it's like, so it's like yeah, and the guy just walked right in and just shot her. Mm -hmm. like, I, was, I was really fucked up. Mm -hmm. That and happened. Have, well, that happened. I think like I was gonna say that happened. I think like back like 2016 or 2015. Mm -hmm. Well, because so that was mean, like three years ago. Like that's the thing about it too is that like people think it's just like oh it's the one fucking situation it fucking passes by like after about a couple months or so and then fucking people move on. It's just like no, this shit stacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like. It's not like, oh, well, it ain't going to happen again. Like, what are you and, talking about? And you're fucking stupid if you also honestly think that, too. It's just like, oh, it won't happen again. This security will be beefier. It's like, no, chances are you're going to get fucking attacked again. Exactly. I don't know why people, I don't know why niggas think, like, 9-11 happened. Mm -hmm. do, do I need to say more? If, they, if people are willing to do this to a fucking plane full of people, a gaming convention seems like easy mode, huh? 
Yeah. To somebody who really wants to inflict harm on people. It's like, fucking, wow, these guys are so pathetic. They're going easy mode terrorists. Mm hmm. Well, then there was that. It's just the way the, the life lives right now. Well, then there was that one. Then there was that one douchebag that said like, "Oh, I'm gonna shoot up Anime Expo," and well, and it's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> mm. Also, another thing too, like this. This also wasn't a terror event. This was some dude getting so angry that he lost that he decided to want to shoot the place up. Mm -hmm. And it's like that's like that's completely different from all this other stuff. Like mm -hmm. this is like this is someone. This is someone who thought they were hot shit, got humbled up, and was not all right with it, and decided to do something about it. Mm -hmm. Which kind of raises the question: It's like, how did he deal with loss, like in the past? You know, like, like mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. Some kid beats him at tic tac toe. Oh, I'm gonna kill your pet hamster. <laughs> Probably. I mean, you say that, but like, those, those fuckers exist. Like yeah. I'm, I'm half, I'm half joking with that shit. So, <laughs> mm. we're we're assuming that like there's a full truth behind it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I forget. Did that guy get? Did that guy get shot at and die? No, he shot himself. Because like that's also like Jesus. the stupid thing too. It's just like oh, instead of being a man and fucking just fessing up to it, it's just gonna be like no, I'm just gonna kill myself too. It's like you're taking like the punkest way out ever. He doesn't care. Responsibility for my actions. What exactly? <laughs> it's almost it's almost like he took a pact with himself that like if I ever lose, I'll kill the person and then kill myself because I don't want to live in a world where I lose kind of stupid shit like that. Fucking stupid, mm. yeah. But I mean, because like, uh like, at what, I, at what level? Fucking, how high do you think security is gonna get for this shit? Because I mean, like, it's gonna get intense, oh, like, but like. like What's up? Extremely. Like, you have people like Jabaley literally going to the mayor of Florida to talk about this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like, going it, to go it, up. <laughs> like, I like, feel like, because uh, when I went to Evo, I was able to bring in a backpack, but hmm. I'm pretty sure with the buffed up security, they're probably just going to be like, no more backpacks. Or no more... I would no not more, be surprised. Did they... Yeah, no more big things you could fill a gun in, basically. Did they... Do a that search sense, because yeah. when the last couple times I've gone to Anime Expo, they like they do a bag search. No, they just like as long as it's not what was it? It was like I think they said too, like no cameras or anything like that. Yeah, no but cameras. Like, but like, but like, I just showed them my badge and they just let me in. Well, so I mean, yeah, like that's kind of on them though, because it's just like like I'm saying, mm -hmm. fucking Anime Expo from, from from the comparison sounds like they're doing a lot more security because they actually do go in. And take forever because they're checking each individual bag and checking weapon safety mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So I mean, like clearly, like that seems like to be like it's gonna be the next step, but it's almost kind of like you know that should have been the step, the previous step to begin with. Mm-hmm. Well, I feel like they'll probably start doing like pat downs or something like that. They now. might have to do that too, and full, it's just like you know what? That's full body cavity searches. Spread I mean... your cheeks and lift your sack <laughs> right now. Oh God! I'm not going to a bank. <laughs> hey, Thank it you, doesn't man. matter at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I, I, I appreciate that you got it, Bobsy. Like, yo, you're my nigga for that one. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess, like, move on or some shit? Because, like, fucking, like... Alright, we're starting to depress ourselves we're, now. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get to some it's, more depressing it's, shit. With depressing, Battle Battle and five. It's just, oh, <laughs> depressing and it's just gonna be like, what the hell else can we really do, honestly? We're just gonna be like, well, this is what it's gonna be like from what we, some of us have seen. And it's just like, okay. Mm. Yeah, let, let, let's, let's just move on to well, EA being, EA we being on, a dumbass. Well, yeah, I, will, yeah. I do want to say a nice like prayer thing for all the people that were affected with all the shootings. We don't want to make like light of this. Like I know we're joking and whatnot to lighten the mood, but we're really like saying sorry for those who lost and everything like that. All right, we don't want now we can move on. We don't want this shit to happen. And oh, if exactly. we had the power, if we had the power to stop it ourselves, it'd be nipped in the bud right then and there. Exactly. All right, EA fucking up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So, as it's probably been said like a bunch of times now, Battlefield Five is in a heaping amount of trouble. Oh my god! And, they're fucking for what? For what this time? 
What is uh, it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, with the thing about the whole feminist movement to the microtransactions that have just popped up to oh, the beta geez. not being that great, it's it's just a mess. What was like, wrong with the beta? The beta was very average. It, yeah, it was very I average, it and they had like some of the weirdest censorship. Yes, oh, it was right, so that, weird. What, what that kind of cen- censorship? The term oh. "white man" was blurred out. It was literally censored when you said "white man" and DLC, unless the word "free" was before DLC. Yes. What? <laughs> Rowdy, I saw that little picture. I was like, "Is that a chicken nugget?" And I was like, "No, it's an ear." I thought I thought you meant like when when a girl soldier dies, like she she goes naked or something, and they have to like blur it out or something. No, that was actually what? <laughs> that sounds like some postal shit. <laughs> well, you said well you said weird censorship, so I'm all like that. I, that is, that is weird. That I will yeah. not deny it. <laughs> but it's like but no, c- yeah, it's too, like they, they're though. they're censoring like fucking like how an SJW would censor fucking shit. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay, now okay, now I know now. Cause, mm-hmm. and, and so it's just kind of like like let me ask you this, uh guys. <laughs> now I want nuggets. Dip <laughs> <laughs> it all in mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading what Rowdy said. He's like, No, I want nuggets. <laughs> um But like would you guys actually play the beta for Battlefield? I have That's played right. I yeah. have played the beta for Battlefield. How was it? Like from your personal experience as a non-journalist. Oh, you mean a gamer, right? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, no. Got him. <laughs> it just, it, it, they they bring they bring an emphasis on team play, but as far as like revolutionizing anything, nah. It was your run-of-the-mill battlefield game. Like, yeah, I just sniped someone in the dome from 50 meters away. I'm awesome. Yeah, I just lost a one-on-four gunfight, as I'm supposed to. Oh, my God, teammates are being teammates and giving me things to help each other survive. Yeah, nothing special. Teamwork well, on isn't the that... <laughs> Well, it's isn't more... that good? I mean, isn't that like, you know, don't fix what's not broken kind of thing or well, the problem is though that when you start mm-hmm. repeating yourself like that is then you don't innovate exactly well not yeah nothing was nothing was innovated nothing was innovative about the battlefield beta but at the same time the past three battlefields weren't innovative a- either it's like mm-hmm. they're just they're just taking they're taking battlefield and they're mm-hmm. putting it in an era, and then that's their battlefield. And game. I mean, like in fairness, Call of Duty's been doing that shit for years. Yeah, but we're not talking about Call of Duty right but now. But they're both shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm comparing oh, shit to shit. Guys, guys, I'm, I'm not battle saying battle royale. <laughs> oh, okay. Was there a battle royale available in the, in the demo? No, no. It, no. It's, there's a demo of it now, though. Yeah. Hmm. Jesus. But guys, mm. guys, Overwatch style gameplay. <laughs> oh boy. Guys, stop. Teamwork. <laughs> I feel like I have to go back to my previous teamwork on the internet comment. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Uh, I mean, what was it? Like down 89% or something in sales already? 87 down mm. in pre orders. Yeah. Wow. Like the pre-orders weren't doing too hot at all. I mean, because like, it, it, like one of the things was the release window didn't help because it was between Red Dead Redemption Two and fucking uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Four. Yep, and then they pushed it back. Yeah, They're like we can't fuck with this. <laughs> but, but like fucking like the uh, the guys from the creative team still said, well, you know, if you're a white man, don't enjoy this game. Basically, I mean. Kind of paraphrasing, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is also kind of funny because then IGN said that the demo for uh, Red Dead Two was boring. So it's like, oh, well, it wasn't really IGN; it was GameStop employees. That was oh, that's right. Yeah, that uh, it was boring. Yeah. So it's like, oh, what does that? What does that say? <laughs> I mean, okay. it could say a lot of things, really. To games, <laughs> GameStop employees. Oh, I'm sorry. You mean Dinkelberg? (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you guys laughed at that. I didn't think it was that funny. Teach <laughs> <laughs> makes it more funny. <laughs> but, uh, like, because, like, there were so many mixed reactions with the GameStop thing. It was just like, oh, it's boring. I really wish they were showing more shooting or something like that. It's like, well, you're supposed to be immersed in the world. Like, a lot of people are actually going to be not think that's boring. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm sure you can do whatever you want when you get the game yourself. Shoot a bear or something, I don't know. And I mean, like, sometimes there's, like, fucking games where it's just, like, you know, it's boring to watch, but when you actually get your hands on it, it's exciting as all hell. Exactly. I remember I remember Lee talking talking to me about Red Redemption, uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, and him and Breezy actually played poker for, like, six hours straight. Cause exactly. Was like, yeah. It was just that cool. It's just like, yeah. It's like they, they would do. be immersed you in it because it's just like we're, they're fucking playing poker where you're just like fucking somebody shoot something. Exactly. Different people, different strokes. Like it's like people are taking that as if they reviewed the entire game. Oh, like, yeah. oh my gosh, it's so boring. It's like, no, it's just like an hour or something. That's one thing people don't really talk about is like sometimes it's, it's all centered around the, po- the point of view. Mm, that reminds <laughs> me of a nitpick I was having with Spider Man, but I'm not going to bring it up. <laughs> I was about to say that that impression that Joss sounded that's or the impression that Joss made was like was Donald Trump playing Red Dead? <laughs> uh, it's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if the shoe fits, <laughs> and I would know. <laughs> but uh, with Battlefield, I don't know. Like EA has been kind of fucking up a lot lately. <laughs> There's no amount, yeah, no amount of free DLC in the world is going to fix a game that is that boring. Exactly. Because at this point, at this point, it doesn't even it doesn't even come down to like, oh yeah, we're gonna stop our, we're gonna like turn things around, right? Like no, no microtransactions, no season pass for mm. Battlefield. Like, it, it's staying, it's it's staying everywhere else, like. Like, mm. like one thing, I, one thought I've had is that, like, fucking, if if EA was gonna make one more Battlefront, like, uh, that because like that game would have to be so precisely made, so specifically made, and tailored, like, down to the last detail that it's just like, because I'm talking like all the business uh shit, all the all the stuff that's like said during uh press conferences and all that shit, like I'm talking like everywhere outside and inside the game, it would have to be so delicately crafted. That like that one for sure would still like struggle to get sales, but that would be like the only way that they can save their business because right now they're tanking hard. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And I'm not, pretty sure co- even Konami's looking at them saying like, "Oh man, you guys." No, they're still fun. pretty bad. <laughs> no, I'm about to say Konami not too far off. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're they're all bottom tier. <laughs> they're they're all basically serve bot. Exactly. I don't know, it's like the only money they're making is Snake and Smash Brothers, and that's it. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we got Pachinko Machines! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, long is that, how long is that going to help? Mm-hmm. <laughs> as long as it needs to. Exactly. <laughs> Until the money runs out. <laughs> but, no. Um, I'm just going to basically throw this out there just in case any of y'all care. Do y'all care about the female thing in the game or not? Because I really oh. don't. The whole British <laughs> shit? Yeah, I really don't. I, I mean, I don't give a shit, but that's because I don't really play fucking Battlefield. And mm. like, Because I, I, I will say this. If they were going to go for like crazy unrealistic, then they should have gone way higher up in the crazy unrealistic shit. Because I think a lot of people have also said this, that it's just like, essentially they're double dipping. They're trying to go for a realistic look, but they're also trying to go for crazy, and it's just kind of like the realism sort of like pops up more than the crazy shit. That's why the crazy shit yeah, failed. If they, yeah, mm. if they want to be unrealistic, bring in aliens. Why don't you bring in big battle robots to just bring fight? Bring in like stupid shit, yeah. Bring in like cyborgs, bring in zombies, but I mean like fucking playable zombies, not just like fucking, you have to kill these things to survive. I'm talking like, and bring demons. Bring in all kinds Bring of Bring Godzilla. Shit. Yeah. Ultraman. Mm. He, he, he's like a fucking stage hazard or something. He's like, holy shit, Godzilla fused with Ultraman. They did the fusion. That would be interesting. He would, Re- like, Ryu from Street Fighter. <laughs> he's shooting like laser beams. Everybody's here. <laughs> Sakurai pops out. Uh, a giant Sakurai just fucking drops enemies from his giant sack. Like, Ryu, Ryu Hadouken uh, 
Ryu Hadouken Nazis. <laughs> I I see what you, I see what you guys mean. I see what you guys mean by all this stuff. I I wish I could care more, but I just can't care less. Honestly, I'm with you, like, Eddie. <laughs> they need Gundam, like, Eddie, you're right. <laughs> like, it's like okay. Well, go ahead. It's okay. It's like they want they want to have the authentic battlefield experience, which is fine. That's cool and all, but then they ask, they ask these questions. Well, no, they get asked these questions. Okay, we want to make a World War II game, but we don't want it to be historically accurate, to which, okay, that's fine. They, it, it doesn't need to be historically accurate. It doesn't need to. They're the creators of the game. They can create whatever they want. But then at the same time, there's a bunch of us consumers that's just like losing their shit because there's Negroes in my video game. It's like people are losing their fucking minds. Hey, there's women, something. and I don't have to respect women. I was yeah, gonna say there were there were like there were like different ra- <laughs> there were like different races of soldiers in Battlefield One. I don't know why they're outraged about it now. Because it's the internet. It is the yes. internet, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like it's just like there's Negroes and there's women. Negroes and women didn't fight in wars, and it's like, do you know that? No, but I learned it from this history books. It's like, ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> No, no. If if they read the, if they read a history book, then they would have known. They probably just read some bullshit article on the internet. Maybe they just can't read from some edge lord. <laughs> no, they most likely did exactly what Venom said. It was like, oh, I saw this article that said that you're wrong. So you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Written by like a six and a half year old, and it's just like half of the words don't even make sense. Why is it you written say, in crayon? Scoopity whoop. <laughs> <laughs> that means that you're wrong. <laughs> the Lord said scoopity whoop. <laughs> but no, the yeah. The Lord go, said. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, and the Lord says you're a dick butt. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, because I was gonna say, like, if they wanted to go fucking over the top, it be, like over the top for this battlefield, it would just be like, you know what? Just make it look like the fucking uh, the the last fight in Ready Player One. Mm. Hell, the one th- like, okay, here's the thing: the one thing that's been pissing off Battlefield players too is the fact that EA and Dice and whatever they keep teasing this this one mode that they want to put in called Dino Mode, where you and I think like it's like a co-op game where you fight a you fight dinosaurs and they keep putting Easter eggs in games and stuff like that. So it's like, why don't you just go through with it already? I'm pretty sure your your engines are advanced enough to handle the dinosaurs. So it's like, just do it. Because that's the DLC. It. Oh yeah, <laughs> why, because why, it's why EA. don't we do it for free when we can charge them seventy five dollars for? If we can just like exactly. have, have the game. Yeah. It's like it's like there's that there's that pterodactyl Easter egg and I think Battlefield three and then there's like that Tyrannosaurus one in Battlefield four and it's just like just do it already God stop you don't teasing mean the, it you don't mean the Megalodon do you Oh yeah well I know about the Megalodon one but I mean like well that'd be the cool Meg. if you could fight if you could fight one in like naval <laughs> can, like, can, can he eat the entire world whole at once I don't want to fuck with him. <laughs> Like, what if there was a war inside a Megalodon? That would be actually kind of interesting. Really <laughs> like, yo, where's this map taking place at? Oh, yeah, so you're inside the Megalodon's body. <laughs> like, the island? I want to know. It, can you see? Or, then, or, like, are there torches? Is there electricity? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> and then if you get too close to the back, you get pooped out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That actually sounds very fun. We're making better maps for fucking EA than EA. God damn it. I'm not, I'm, I would actually play that for a while. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> Yeah, but like, just give us a megalodon mode with a map like that, and then just let us fight dinosaurs. Just like, give us all that. Like fucking riding a T Rex dual wielding machine guns. Boom! There's your fucking color. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, <laughs> uh, do you want to get into the Angry Joe thing? Uh, I mean, I'm down for it. I'm kind of the one that brought it up. <laughs> Yeah, so you do that. <laughs> well, because the thing about it is that apparently, due to all the negative, um. All the all the negative PR that uh, Battlefield's getting, uh, Angry Joe is actually wrapped in controversy because he's actually going out of his way to defend uh, Battlefield. 
What? Wow. He's going out of his okay. way to defend it, and he thinks that, like, and the way he says it is, like, the biggest reason why is because it's basically, like, all, all uh, politically dictated. And about how it's just like, you know, oh, because there's women and there's all this fucking, uh, and there's minorities in the fucking trailer and shit. That's why the game's going to be bad. Never mind the fact that it's just like a shitty company overall. Mm -hmm. That's just like, code. That's just code for, oh, my sellout money's here. I better go get it. I mean, yeah, pretty much. It's, it's, it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's more than likely because like I've, like I've said it before, we're all shills. Like that was, that was literally in the intro, you know, state your shill. Like we're not afraid. We're not afraid to be fucking bought out. Ag agents of shields. <laughs> nice. But it's just like uh, we're not, so it's like we're not afraid to be bought out. But it's just like there's also like a bit Bunch of an image ass. thing. <laughs> there's also a bit of an image thing because it's just like if you, uh, like that that's fine. You want you're gonna be a shield. That's fine. Everyone's a shield at some point. But it's just kind of like don't you think it'd be smarter to pick a better fucking company? These guys nope. like, like got fucking. Shill's got a shill. I, I mean, like, <laughs> I guess because it's just like there would be some point where it's just kind of like, okay, I love you guys, but you're fucking up royal. <laughs> Shill's got a shill, man. <laughs> it's like he's got to make his money, and then next thing you know, he fucking. And not only that, it's just like fucking. There's I I've seen some videos where apparently like the guy like some people say that is like this guy looked up fucking the like the quote-unquote research that angry joe did and he says that mm -hmm. like like he kind of called him out on it because he said that like he barely even watched like fucking the full video he he barely even watched like, a quarter <laughs> of the fucking videos and he's saying that it's just mm -hmm. like dude you're not even fucking like coming up with proper research you're just basically making a, a cheap reaction video yeah and well, I'm, I mean, I'm not surprised again, but, you know that's what that, i'm about to say what you like you've seen cinema sins right uh not lately but yeah i've seen a couple well, like, there are literally videos that go out there, out of their way, to be like, this is why CinemaSins is wrong, even though it's not even serious. Yeah. <laughs> like, so Cinema, Cinema Sins is pretty much just giving people, it's just giving, just shits and giggles, just goofing around. <laughs> exactly, and people will literally go out of their way and say, well, this is why Cinema Sins is wrong, because nee, 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 nee. I will say <laughs> Cinema, Cinema Sins hates America. <laughs> exactly. There was a video, I'm not kidding, that literally did something like that. <laughs> I'm not oh, kidding. You. <laughs> like, I was going to say, in fairness, Cinema I, Sins is unpatriotic. I, I was, not, not the unpatriotism part, because I was never that fucking stupid, but I was yeah. that guy where it was just kind of like, you know, these guys are fucking have their heads up their ass. Jazz showed me that there's a video where it's just like oh no they're fucking taking the piss out of themselves too and i'm just kind of like okay like at least not get the joke i ended up watching a, a shit ton of their videos i'm just like okay you know i'm not taking what they say seriously and i'm having fun watching these videos now mm -hmm. so it's just kind of like it's not impossible for you to just fucking get over yourself and the thing is like that video that i showed him it's literally like their trailer video you literally go to their channel and it's right there like, <laughs> so you know right off the bat <laughs> they, they cinema sins themselves <laughs> it's like it's like going into a store and seeing like like a swastika on the thing, and they're just like, nope, and just leave. <laughs> First sin, we're white. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, like, obviously, like, I just think that, like, he, is, like, because, what was it, like, I wasn't, I think he was losing, like, a bunch of subs and shit, because people were just going, like, dude, you, like, your shilling is, like, way too bad and blatant than like uh i i can't imagine i haven't read any of the comments but i know that people were just kind of like upset and kind of like calling out fucking angry joe for that shit mm. well i mean to be honest because i watched the video too i will admit some of his points were just and like the whole people <clears throat> just kind of get over it kind of thing mm -hmm. but i also do see why people are kind of being mad in a way but I do still think that people are being mad over nothing. <laughs> it's a little bit of point A and a little bit of point B. Because, like, let's face it. After Battlefront, the next game that they were going to make, it was doomed to get hated on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What game was that? Uh, Battlefront, what do you think? Oh. Mm -hmm. we, oh, I thought you said after Battlefront they were going to make another game. and like. Oh. I, I think you got Battlefield and Battlefront mixed up there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Okay. Yeah, because like after Battlefront two, like uh, Jesus whatever Christ, game. I just realized that. <laughs> this EA does the game Battlefront and Battlefield. Oh. Make another name. <laughs> Battlefort. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. 
Like, but yeah, but battle. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> and then, like, they don't, they have to try uh, half as hard. <laughs> battle Night Royale. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah. But, so it's battle... basically... Go ahead. I was going to say Battlefront Royale HD edition with Sonic and Knuckles and with Dante featuring Dante. <laughs> I, was gonna the say Dante. I was gonna say that shit too, bro. He's reading your mind. Yeah, He's reading your head. I was definitely gonna say that. <laughs> and for some and somehow he's still like the fucking weakest character in the game. <laughs> or mad broken, like in Marvel Infinite. <laughs> Dude, fucking like the the way the character is, he's like gonna be mad broken in any fighting game. Yep. Speaking of Capcom stuff. Street Fighter Leaks! Street Fighter Leaks! Let me pull it up. Actually, I'll put it up on the big screen. Science. Uh, because uh, I'm mostly going to be sending this, uh, talking about this Your Wave Venom, because I know fucking Eddie's not going to give a shit. Yeah, Wait, what? dab on them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's, because you guys know the guy X Kira, right? Yes, he sounds familiar. He is a fa- he's a, a guy that's famous for leaking like uh, Capcom fighting game information. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And apparently, he uh, posted something where like apparently the next update for 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 Street Fighter Five for season four it's gonna be a way huge uh, update with like some uh, changes to the mechanics and gonna be like they're adding gonna be new uh, adding new shit. There's going to be, like, uh, what was it, like, the whole thing about, like, second... There's going to be two uh, critical arts now. There's going to be uh, two uh, V reversals. There's going to, like, uh, they're going to move around some characters' moves. Uh, it's it's going to be, like, a, a way different game by the end of it. That's what, like, he's le- leaking, because he's saying there's going to be something called the V-break system, where it's basically, like, the Killer Instinct combo breaker. It's something called the V-custom. Let's see, uh... It's basically going to be, from what I can see, it's going to be kind of like a Jury's Feng Shui engine, where it's just kind of like a a, a buff, you know, or, or like Ryu's V-Trigger 1. If, uh, if... <laughs> Jury will be more useless now. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I was about to say, if, if they're going to do that, then what about Jury? Like, are they going to re are they going to retool her critical her uh, V triggers? Ah, uh, who knows? Uh, what is it? There's also going to be something where it's like a something called a V cancel. All this says is like this new feature is totally different from the well-known FADC. And it also shows like the inputs. And then what was it like? It here, the next page says uh, new critical arts, new features will be part of the current game uh, V system. You can now select your select your uh, V reversals, and it also mentions like some uh, changes to uh, some of like. For example, it's gonna mention like it mentions like you know how basically some of the characters are either gonna the way that the re reversals are it's some characters either have a dodge or they have a strike and in this one it's with the new v reversals you can actually choose between a dodge or a strike which I mean let's face it most people are probably gonna end up choosing strike uh, and then there some like some tiny details like Nick Holly doesn't get some fucking changes because like the way that some of the systems that they're announcing go. He he already has them implemented. What that they'll be permanent V triggers? Uh, I think that's one of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds. So it's gonna be like like the V system is definitely gonna get a huge revamp. There's gonna be the new critical arts, and then fucking who knows what we'll get for like season four characters. But I mean, like, I just want to ask, like, well, you know, what what what's your opinion on this? I mean, if it makes the game more interesting, then yeah, I'd, I'd say go for it. I mean, I do think that it's definitely going to switch, like, uh, mix up the game a lot because, for one thing, it's definitely going to give people something that they've been wa- asking for for the longest time, which is the new Critical Arts. Uh, the other thing, yeah. too, is that it's going to also... I feel like it's also going to help fix... Uh, it's it's going to be like an inadvertent buff to a bunch of characters, because, for example, I'm sure that, like, Vega players are, like, tired of, like, how crappy his, like, dodge V reversal is. And with if he gets a strike next, then obviously he's going to be a lot more viable getting out of the corner. Well, I mean, his dodge is pretty good. I mean, it'll get him out of the corner. 
I mean, like, it's it's not great, but then again, I'm also not a Vega player, so I can't really speak to, uh, speak for anyone that does that. So, I mean, like, I feel like that that addition is going to be really good. The combo breaker thing is actually going to be really interesting to see how it uh, how much it drains from your V trigger, and like how that, far. That... What? I was going to say that's that's going to be weird. It's going to be weird, but I mean, like, you never know because the, there one of the things about it too is that like uh, you do have some characters like Akuma or uh, probably Mika, I would throw in, where it's just kind of like you know once they grab on, no Laura for sure. Once they grab on, it's just like it is damn near impossible to to get the to get them to let to let you go. <laughs> so I think that it's, it's actually going to be like a, a pretty interesting uh, mix up too. So that like fucking, it gives everyone more defensive options, which is like something Dragon Ball needs. <laughs> so here's my question to the Street Fighter people about these leaks. Do you think these leaks? What you've seen so far will be things to bring new players to the game. And what are your thoughts of there not being a story thing in this leak? Um, uh, I can I can take or leave the story thing because I would like to see uh, some stuff in the story, like the whole adding a new a, a new story mode after the first one is something that I think would be really good because, like, chances are if it would be super successful. Games like uh, Mortal Kombat, for example, they would fucking like jump on that too. And fucking uh, what is uh, what else? Uh, for the new mechanics, I do feel like people that did think, you know, well, shit, I I'm stuck in the core. Like like people that get pissed off because they ha- they they get nothing but games where they feel like they're stuck in the corner. I feel like okay, well now you have some more uh options to get you out of that. So that I think that like it might bring back some people. I, the biggest thing I feel would that would really be, be an incentive, honestly, I would probably say is the second Critical Arts. Hmm. I got a question then about this is about like Street Fighter or anything like that. Why isn't there like a burst system in place? Why isn't there? Why isn't there a mechanic in the game that would allow anybody to get the like get a get a get, a, get out of jail free card? Well, that's basically what the what the V break's gonna be. Okay. Why now? Yeah, like why, like why wasn't that implemented from the jump? Is my main question. That I can't fucking. I that I I don't know fucking. I'm a shill, but I don't fucking work there. Cause oh no, damn, you ain't shilling enough. <laughs> <laughs> if only they'd recruit me, man. I'd shill the shit out of this. <laughs> Hashtag sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, well, here's looking at you, Capcom. <laughs> I mean, you never know, cause uh, what was it like? Maybe some of the stuff, like I, I, who knows how much of that stuff is actually like from the fucking polls and shit that they did at over at Evo. And like, oh, I would. Those polls. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I can see your point, Rowdy, because like it would be something more of like uh, what's it called? That's more of like a system in, like an Arxis game. That's what I'm trying to say. So I mean, like seeing it in a in a Street Fighter would be weird. Like I'm not gonna deny, but I also feel like you know what, based off of the the current state of the game, I feel like you know more defensive options wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. Hmm. But like, cause the I would say though one of the biggest things that I hope happens. Well, cause I, I let me ask though first, Jess, cause like uh, I know that you said that, uh. Care to elaborate on the whole, like, fucking uh, survey thing at EVO? Oh, man. There were so many pictures of people saying, like, because, like, when you saw the survey, it was like, what do you want to bring you back? Well, it was like, what do you want to bring you back to the game? But, like, what is it that you want from this game? It was like, new V-triggers, new critical arts, blah, 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 such and such. And there were so many pictures of people taking nothing will bring me back to this game. <laughs> and it, it was like written in there. And it was like really, really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 there's a part of me where it's just kind of like, see, this is why fucking a lot of times companies don't listen to people because they think like, oh, I'm being clever. And it's just kind of like you have a chance to actually help the game, you know, and you're just fucking being here like being an ass. Well, that's why. That's why I'm glad. Well, I mean, it is related to the next topic, but like, 
That's why I'm glad that Ono's gone. Because it's like, all he does is just troll you. And then when he gives you the product, it's like, really? This is all you're going to give us? And you trolled us for months on this stupid shit? It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, absolutely. Street Fighter 4 was trash. <laughs> Street Fighter what was trash? 4. Really? I don't, I don't like it. it. Okay. That's what I would tell him. Like, he's kind of in the minority on this. My opinion, but uh, I, I, I like I, I wouldn't be surprised because like the way that people nostalgia goggles that game, and I'm just kind of like I didn't honestly really like it at all. Mm. Well, you never but, liked it though, so that's a whole other thing. Like, itself. it was uh. like I liked it enough, but there were some things that pissed me off bad. That's that's why your opinion doesn't matter, and you're a poopy butt face. <laughs> <laughs> Venom writes that on a survey. <laughs> <laughs> Poopy butt face! Poopy! Poopy! Poop poop! Because, <laughs> like, like, I would say that the, it's that. It's just, like, this is, like, uh, an interesting thing that's definitely gonna shake up the game and everything, but, uh... So, like, of course, the, like, like all, all the all the smart asses is just kind of, like, you're, you know, you're just kind of wasting our time here, fucking, if you're not gonna help, just fucking move on. Because, mm. like, for example, it would be me, like, the, the shit that they're doing, it would be like me fucking coming into, like, whenever you guys talk about a Tekken talk back, and I'd just be like, yeah, but except Tef Tekken sucks ass. Like, always interrupting that shit. Mm. So it would just be like, uh, it's just, it would just be more of like a case of like, you know, if you're not going to help, Moopsie, why don't you just fuck off? And I'd be like, well, because Tekken sucks ass. Just like, I'm not being clever, I'm just being a fucking dumbass. <laughs> I'm not being clever. I'm just being real, man. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. my thoughts. <laughs> like, it's just like you're trying to silence my opinion. <laughs> so I will like... not be silenced. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm just like I, I, uh, in in terms of like the the shit the the leaks, I am looking forward to it because I mean for Ryu, you know he's gonna get a Shin Shuriken, but I like some of the characters I'm interested in seeing what they're gonna do with are uh, Jury, for example, and G. But I thought he already had a Shin Shoryuken. Mm, he's got the EX, but it's not a super. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I'm talking about the new Critical Arts. Oh, okay. Like, oh, I see. And then, like, again... Keep up, man! <laughs> uh, I just, I'm hoping to, like, that they retool some characters, too. I just wonder what they'll do to Jury, then. Will they give her better V-triggers? And then, if so... Then you what... The exact thing they're going to do. They're gonna nerf her so far into the ground. The only thing you're gonna see are her tits. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a buff. See, he, she's gonna distract see, her. and that's how they buff her. That is a buff. <laughs> <laughs> you nerf her so into the ground. Exactly, you Rowdy. See your tits for the buff. <laughs> <laughs> Bear, I solved Jury's problem. Uh, <laughs> and then her, her problem. Hold on. Hold on. And then, uh, uh, you might be wrong here, actually. How okay. you might be wrong, you might be thinking to yourself, probably not at all. Jury doesn't have to. <laughs> her, her V trigger is just her tits getting Wait, bigger. Jury doesn't have tits. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, she didn't have tits in four. No, but, but then, then they. they yeah, they grew in five. <laughs> and then, oh, like so I said, she's been she's been eating her cornbread then, <laughs> pretty mm, much that good old soul food. <laughs> she wanted Chun's body and she's working toward getting it. <laughs> but I mean, we'll see what the future holds. But because uh, what was it like? Since there's the whole thing about like Street Fighter Five would be like uh, like they keep uh like working on it till 2020. It's just like if nothing else, there's it's still there for like another two years. Yeah, mm. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it seems like they're starting to run out of gas a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know. And eh. like, well, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, like, eh. mm. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, like, I'm looking forward to it, obviously. <laughs> I kind of wish I had that B uh, BS thing we have in the other Discord now, Eddie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I need that. I need that conceited emote, man. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, anything else? Any other questions or anything you'd like to bring up or what? Okay, one last thing. Will one you more think? Thing. <laughs> will you think this would truly shake up the tier list, or 
Will the tier list stay the same? That's the face I'm looking for. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put that in post oh, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what you guys were talking about. Um, just off of that, just off of the new mechanics, I can't say it would shake it up much. Because it's one thing for for the defensive options, it's another thing for damage output too. Uh, since uh, like that's the balancing of it, um, I would say that just the mechanics it would not be enough. The character balance is also going to be really crucial. Mm. Yeah, because because everyone's tired of seeing Urian always go up top tier. Well, the thing is, that it's just like he's top tier, but he also hasn't been really used that much. I've seen more Abigails and Mikas than I've seen Urians. Well, yeah, I mean, fucking Abigail. <laughs> You've seen what he can do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like he's he's like pretty brain dead, but at the same time, it's just like you you figure him out. It's just like, well, shit, he's I can't believe he was a challenge. <laughs> How many people get to that point? <laughs> I'll I... tell you this: not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> But no, that's all I really had on that front. Uh, I guess we go on to the next one, which actually someone in the podcast actually brought up. Oh no, being gone. <laughs> and we uh, thank mean, God. I would say Oh no's gone in quotes. Yeah, in quotes he's gone. Like, here's a, my thought process. On. <laughs> <laughs> this is an outsider looking in for the most part. Well, no, I'm just laughing at what Rowdy said. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> but, um, everybody's, like, so excited that Oh No's gone. It's like, oh, yeah, Street Fighter Five is finally going to get the, the thing it deserves because the guy from Monster Hunter is coming in. He's gotten all this free DLC and shit. Okay. First things first. I'm Monster Hunter. What's up? I'm the realist. <laughs> I thought about saying that, but I was like, mm, I'm going to let that go. <laughs> but, like, with Monster Hunter, it's a completely different beast. No pun intended. Yep. But, um, then fighting, fighting games. Like, it just is. It really like, is. You can... And another thing that you have to think of as a difference for it Monster Hunter is so gangbusters. So they can do this kind of free DLC shit. It's just the way it is. <laughs> Street Fighter still has a ways to go to get to Monster Hunter level. If a whole other thing. If, we'll go ahead. if they could even do it. Exactly. Well, what better way to test it out than getting the guy who made Monster Hunter? Which is a whole other thing in itself. We know he's a fan of Monster Hunter. But how do we know he's a fan of fighting games? Rowdy's calling you out, Chess. I mean, Rowdy does that all the time. I will beat his ass in Tekken again if he does it. <laughs> and putting him in his place. <laughs> but, um, like, with Ono, I know people didn't like what the things that came under his belt. But you still have to realize, if it wasn't for him, we would not have had Street Fighter Four in the renaissance we had to begin with. That's just real. Yep. So, for all those haters out there, you might not want to hate so, so much on the guy. Oh, no, yeah, like, because, like, the, the moment they said, like, Ono oh, stepped down, and it's just like, yeah, they, they all collectively went, yeah, I'm talking to you, Venom. Uh, but yeah, also, Venom, uh, motherfucker. The it, it's just like, it's almost like they didn't read the whole thing. They just read, Ono oh, stepped down, and then fucking just, like, stopped reading. And then it was just like, it's in, in where the rest of it says, like, but he's still working on the fighting games division. He's just not the head of it. And it's just like, well, he's still in there, so he's not really gone. Exactly. Well, well he's just doing stuff now. He's not planning stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? I mean, I'm I'd rather... Go around it. I mean, I'd rather just have him work on a game rather than plan out what's going to happen. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's still going to have, like, a decent-sized say based off of where his position is. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? So it's, it's gonna, Fuck his decent-sized say. Uh, so it's just going to... Dinkleberg. So, yeah, at one point, you guys are, like, the, the final game community is just going to go back to, like, fucking, same as always, fucking Dinkleberg. Um, oh, oh, no, Berg. <laughs> and so fucking, like, 
all the all the hate, first of all, is just going to be like, you know, this is going to come back to bite you in the ass. And all of the Jazz's points were basically things I thought about too, where it's just like Monster Hunter World is a totally different beast in every in damn near every sense of the uh so every sense of the way and fucking like cuz the most you can compare it to is in terms of the, that there is a balancing thing that has to be done in Monster Hunter World, which is you have to make sure not every weapon is like not one weapon class is stronger than the other. That said, fucking you can't just say, well, you know, there's balancing in Monster Hunter World and then there's balancing in Street Fighter. It's just like those shits are completely fucking different. You know, that's that's like taking the vaguest statements you can come up with and then saying, well, this is how they're comparable. It's just kind of like, oh, well, there's Mars. There, there's uh, there like Mars is round, Earth is round. Therefore, we should live in Mars. It's like that's fucking bullshit logic. That's not that's that's also not even delving into the fact that Monster Hunter is a PVE game. And Street Fighter is a PvP game. Mm-hmm. A really good point. The market mm-hmm. Exactly. Watch, watch as soon as Baker says that, they like Monster Hunter releases PvP. I don't even know how that would work. <laughs> That'd be kind of like, dumb. They, like, they've had that, like, there is the only way that you can PvP any or like, like anything like that in Monster in the Monster Hunter series is just the time attack between two groups. That's honestly it. Outside yeah. of that, it's just like. Like fucking. Otherwise, it's just like watching Dark Souls, and let's face it, competitive Dark Souls fighting wouldn't be very interesting at all. Also, Dark, Dark Souls Earthbreak shouldn't be a thing at all. Yeah, well, it'll, really it would be it would be like Capcom's answer to For Honor. <laughs> they don't no. need to answer For Honor. Nobody needs to answer for For Honor. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Because he's, he, he's getting called out because of fucking Ono, oh so he just needs to come up with something. It's a desperation tactic. <laughs> no, I, was, I mean, no, no, I was just, I was just making a joke. I wasn't like defensive to... mechanisms. Defensive <laughs> mechanisms. <laughs> I was just making a joke. <laughs> America. Yeah, America. <laughs> Uh, until he does something like outright, like "Oh my gosh, he that's amazing," I'm I'm just thinking this is just a panic move. <laughs> I would it, like oh like God. part that, uh, well, like ninety percent that eighty ninety percent, but also it's just kind of like oh damn. <laughs> uh, the other thing too is that it's just like if you're really gonna want to see what uh what's it what's the dude's name is like uh. Can you pull up the name? Who even knows? <laughs> but uh, who even knows at this point? I'm pretty sure it starts with like an R, but anyway, but we'll just it call does. him. Yeah. I'll just call him Arsan. Arsan. Uh, Arsan, mm. yeah, let's call him Arsan. Uh like you won't really get to see what changes Arsan can bring to the to Street Fighter until, let's face it, Street Fighter Six. Like mm-hmm. that's when he would really be at the helm of that, with sure some Ono input and shit, but he would also be able to shut that shit down. So it's just like you won't really get to see what he can bring to the table until six. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> shut shut that oh no shit down. So he's just like, like hey, I got I have an idea, and it's sh- no. <laughs> yeah, just push it, push his head back down to his <laughs> desk. <laughs> have that thing that's an heiress's channel. Cut that bitch off. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that bitch off. Next call. <laughs> <laughs> but so I mean, like, they, uh, like we'll we'll see. But I would say, don't hold your breath for fucking seeing his big changes on Street Fighter Five. So like, re-revolutionize the system. Yes, Street Fighter Five will now introduce wall bounces. Hmm. Now we'll introduce. Now we'll introduce big titty mode. <laughs> Day one. <laughs> <laughs> Day one. <laughs> oh, interesting. Wait, we know what gamers want. You want mm-hmm. balance, you want titties. Guess what? <laughs> you can only have one. <laughs> <laughs> we only sell one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was under uh, that was under Ono though. Our son? Our son's like, yo. Yo, Gravor Gra- uh, Gravor Gallery. Yo, let's do it. There you go. <laughs> Imagine if fucking Arson ended up bringing Senron Kagura characters to it. Oh no! <laughs> they come in there before Blaze Blue. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> and then our our son 
does bring in a character from GTA into Street Fighter and just be like, you think you think Negan and Tekken was confusing as fuck? <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Harada would not beat me today. <laughs> <laughs> No oh boy. So, I mean, that's, no, that's about. I'm as trying to find it, and now Event Hubs is failing me. <laughs> what? So, uh, I'm trying to find the name, and Event Hubs is failing me right now. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even looking. I was gonna say, like, let's go to like the next topic. <laughs> All right, next topic. We are going to do this season two of Dragon Ball Fighters and our picks for it. Yes. So. Being that Moopsy was the one who brought this up, you go first. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> let, let me, let me, uh, let me just get my notes together here. Jesus Christ! Uh, I just pull up a bunch of fucking random like uh, it, it, uh, top ten lists, and it's just like, oh, these are totally my ideas. Um, and then you just hear like a bunch of papers shuffling, just like. <laughs> uh, uh, I know I got them right here. <laughs> like I feel like. Two that two that I easily want to see, or rather, I'll say three because one of them could go either way. One I definitely must see is is Jiren. He's easily gonna be one of the ones that like people are gonna want to see. And then the other one's weird because like on the one hand you could like they don't have as many moves separated, but as a fusion, like it, it would she would have more moves. Uh, but then you have less females. It's uh, easy, like obviously, I'm talking about uh, Kale, Kalifla, and, and uh, Kefla. It's like more females. Sausage party. <laughs> <laughs> like the one I'm. Uh... You think you think the Battlefield Five controversy was bad? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, he's starting his own. Um, he, he sets them like fires. Uh, but <laughs> like, cause I like that. That's that's like my stance on it. Is just like it, cause they don't have as many moves as separate people. But you do get more female characters. On the other hand, if you do bring him in as Kefla, she's got way more moves. But at the same time, it's just like, yeah, but it's only another, just one chick. So yeah, I'm kind of, man. I'm kind of conflicted about that. One chick, two brains. <laughs> <laughs> he loves, the, he likes the size of them brains. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. By the way, just for the people who are probably yelling at us in the whole thing, it's Rizo Tishi. I'm not even gonna pronounce that last name. Um, but the uh, guy who's taking over for Ono. <laughs> okay. Well, at least you know we don't have to call him. Yeah. On so it. I don't have to add. That's it. So I don't have to add that in post. I really. That's gonna be a pain. <laughs> oh man, because like. Like Rowdy's bringing up one of the characters that I have like thought about, where it's just like you know, could she make it in? Is like uh, Chichi? Like maybe you bring her in when she was younger or something? I'd take young Chichi. Yeah. Yeah, but, like the thing about it though is that it's just like because my problem with Chichi with Videl, uh, I probably even throw in Bulma too, is that it's just like it's not that I don't think that they Jeez. would fit. <laughs> it's that I they don't have like enough signature moves for me to really consider them. You know what I mean? Well, I mean technically you could just take a couple of their moves that they have in uh, like Xenoverse. Stuff. If you do that, I mean, there's not a lot of moves that go around in the roster in general, so it's not that hard to do. Uh, I mean, I guess because like, because one of the things about it is that like, I will say that is like, as much as I hate some of the repeat characters, there is one thing that does work to their advantage, which is they don't have to have that many moves because they'll be recycling them since they're the same character. So like all the Gokus mm -hmm. and all the Vegetas, they don't have to worry that much because they're no all the same No more guy. Gokus! <laughs> <laughs> we already know that, Jess. <laughs> but, I just know, want to point that out. <laughs> <laughs> but if, like, some people, it's I've seen... no Gokus! <laughs> We're allowed to have one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, but, you know, when people say, you know, I want to see Videl, I want to see Hercule, it's just like, I don't think that they wouldn't fit because this game, if it was like Xenoverse, then like the whole flying thing is just like, okay, that's one thing. But, you know, this is, like, uh, more of, like, your standard fighting game, so it's all mostly ground-based fighting and all that shit. But it's just, like, the thing, my the, the wall I hit is they don't have that many, like, famous signature moves. You know, like, Videl doesn't have, like, a famous key blast or a fucking famous, like, combo or some shit, you know? Like, well, she has a hero combination, but that's, uh, like, one of her bigger things. It, it, it's kind uh, of, like, a lot of times those tend to be, like, just generic, like, uh... Donamite kick! <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, like... It, it, a lot of times it's just 
generic like those things in Xenoverse they're just generic combos. That's that's like what I'm saying is like that's the wall I hit. No, I don't think like I can understand your point, but I do think there is enough to have them as characters though. Like cuz a lot of those generic things they do have like names within like the manga and shit. So you can literally pull stuff out there. Like I mean, like I was saying, the uh, Justice Combination. That's literally pulled from the manga stuff. <laughs> I mean, I, I will say this, because this is also a possibility given some of the characters. Like, if they had, like, a young Chi-Chi Videl co- uh, character combo kind of thing, like, one's a puppet character, I'd be down for that. Why? Uh, I only disagree with that in the sense of Adele and Chi-Chi never really interacted. In That's what I'm yet. saying. Like, why? <laughs> I'm just trying to get more females in this, man, because fucking, like, I already told you the wall. Why are you putting them in I one see, slot? I see. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, Eddie? It's like, it's like, I see what you mean, but it's like Android 17 and 18 are brother and sister, so of course they have that bond. I see what you mean. But I just don't think Videl or Chi-Chi, neither one of them, have fought long enough for it to matter, especially in this day and age of power levels and shit. I mean, hell, I'd hell, I'd stay bringing uh, that one girl that was with Bardock's team. But I, that one Saiyan girl. I, again, I still feel like she you run into like, less. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she, she's got even less moves. That's why I'm just kind of like, that's like, I want more females in. Don't get me wrong, but it's just like they don't have enough like special move sets. That's like, well, I was like, saying, I, the thing with Videl, I about to say, with Videl, I can pull stuff from, like, the tournament thing and stuff, and also from when she was a hero and whatnot. I can pull stuff from that. From the Saiyan one you're talking about, she just died. <laughs> 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 like, you would literally have to make this shit up. <laughs> like, I, I mean, like, I, I would say that, like, you know, I'd be down to, like, check out some of those videos or whatever. Like, you know, I, I would want to see those. I the spirit bomb. <laughs> Mary Sue. But it's like, I mean, that'd be interesting. <laughs> so they the get, rid of, get rid of base Goku. I mean, I'm, I'm no I doubt with that. I doubt, I doubt she knows Kyle Kin, despite never knowing King Kai. Yeah, it's just kind of like they'd be like, "Well, yeah, but she's got a vagina, so she knows everything." <laughs> but, oh, so you're pulling the Battlefield Five then? Okay. <laughs> God damn it, Moosey! I thought we talked about this. <laughs> uh, here, here come the here come the SJWs now to oh, no. and to... demonetize. <laughs> <laughs> and our channel is blocked. <laughs> God <All> damn it! <laughs> I mean, like, yes, I, like that. That's that's the wall I hit. That's why I'm just kind of like, you know what? Just go for the easy ones, which is just like, you know, go for uh, either Kale or Kalifla separate or Kefla. One of the ones that I do want to see, though, for sure is Jiren. Hmm. Jiren has, like, punch moves, though. <laughs> punch! Eyes! <laughs> I am Sasuke! <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's that's the only problem with Jiren, though, is does he, ever, does he have, like, like, his own attacks? Uh, I know. Well, he does have some generic, you know, just like oh, energy ball things. He does have some those some of those things where it's like. You, you That's can't... what I was thinking. Like he runs in the same kind of thing you're talking about. I mean, I'll tell you this though. He could. They could actually turn like what the like, fucking glowing eye move into something like unique. Yes, as in the Sharing Gun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no other character has that. Because <laughs> I mean, because I mean, like at least like you look at. You look at characters like Boo and Frieza, how like they have Death Ball, and then, and then uh, I, I forget what Kid Boo's big energy ball thing is, but it's like, but those are their moves. But like, so yeah, like the plan like, Yeah, but then like you look at Jiren, and I'm like, what does Jiren have besides looking all bland and shooting red balls? <laughs> He has a punch. <laughs> <laughs> does, does he have like a does he have like a Roman Reigns Superman punch or? I mean, like yeah, no, he's, got, he's got the ball. He's got the, he's got the glo- he's got the glowing eyes. Uh, Shotting gun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he got so g- weird. <laughs> I still think that it's just like that's still somewhat. That's still something. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> No, he he has the punch. We can give him stuff. <laughs> what, about, what about a kick? No, that's too far. <laughs> no, no kicks here. Only punches. <laughs> uh, how about your picks? Um, 
Definitely Kale. Definitely Khalifa. Um, God damn it, I want something weird. Is. Like, I really do. I want something to, like, really shake up the... Kid goes... So... Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you have a small hitbox. <laughs> you can't hit him! <laughs> when you look at the design, uh, it was... actually, like, lo- does look smaller than fucking Gotchen and Trunks. I know, right? <laughs> or, he, or, hell, he's smaller than Kid Teen... Oh, no, never mind. He's a teen, so... Mm. <laughs> Learn to read! <laughs> 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 no, I want like Mr. Satan. <laughs> because you brought up Boma, I didn't even think of that, honestly. But because you brought up Boma, I kind of want like a robot like character, like yeah. huge robot. Like <laughs> uh that car dude, the blue one. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Well, cuz like that, that that's a rumor I had heard before launch that uh that Boma was going to be a playable character as like uh someone using a mech. See, that would be interesting and different. That would be weird for sure. Like, I want something weird and different and sticking out. Hey, you could <laughs> also, also get a Raleigh. Cool. I mean, we could get a Raleigh. That would be interesting. It would be kind of weird with her gag kind of things. But <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Her I, super I, move, I, she just punches the earth in half. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay to fucking see Vegeta's reaction to fucking a Raleigh in the game. Fucking gag character. <laughs> like, no, not this bitch again. <laughs> I promise not to fight you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, actually, yeah, I'm gonna uh, say Raleigh too. Now that uh, like you said that, she would be pretty cool. Jess is sexist. He hasn't said any males. <laughs> uh, I mean, in the game full of males. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> What do you want me to say, Jiren, aka Discount Sasuke? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Jiren's. Uh, we don't know if Jiren's a guy or a girl, so just call him. Oh dear God! Do not put that do in my head. Do not do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you said car, dude. Uh, he means poor. Oh. Yeah, because I like I read that from kind of far away, so I thought I read that as uh, car, dude, and uh, he said Man. cat. <laughs> Man, fuck y'all. If y'all are going to do some shit like this, then, right? You guys are going to talk about Arale. If you want Arale, then I want a pool, nigga. I mean, go for it. <laughs> He's weird. <laughs> do it. I mean, I, I will say this. See what also. happens. No, that was my fault, Rowdy. But it's like, uh, I will say this, though. I have mentioned a weird character before, too. Also female. And she would be a crossover character. That said, I have gotten, like, fucking people busted out laughing when I threw this out. Who was that? It was, a uh, Sailor Moon. I mean... Whose man is this? <laughs> 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 Just get I'm out. only gonna get laugh at you me. because you didn't say Mars. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell she... Like, I never fucking saw Sailor Moon, so I was just kind of like, I don't know what the fuck she can do. Get She'd out. probably be a range type. <laughs> All I know is that I wanted to slam Mars. Hey, and now you're one of us again. For now. I'm still out of the fence somewhere. Well, if, if anyone's going to slam me, it's going to be Jupiter. Get out. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that Jupiter's hot. Did you, did you just admit to wanting to get pegged on podcasts and stream Venom? That's right. <laughs> The, f- the very first. So hey, be lucky, everyone. He's, he's mad enough to admit it, though. <laughs> and I'm mad enough to kick him the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> mm, you, have a, you have a motherfucking problem. <laughs> Get rowdy. So, so do the rest of us. So do the rest of us. <laughs> mm, I don't know, Destiny 2 player. Oh. <laughs> No, um, I think that's pretty much it for my picks, though. Anybody else? I have no picks. Well, for me, and now, now that we're like kind of talking about like new, like honestly new characters, like I mean, of course, the, my first choice would be Android Thirteen, yes. Trucker Hat. No. <laughs> 
Where's <laughs> my trucker hat? <laughs> I mean, like, yes, I, cause I, I, I've, I've had this conversation with Venom before, and it's just like, I agree with him, except I want it to be in the super form. Blue skin Ugh, and everything. Blue. <laughs> I tip my hat to you, but I lost it. <laughs> But but then and then I was thinking about it. I think I think a good character would be that one alien that that one scientist made in the. I think it was a Dragon Ball. It was one of the Tenkaichi games where they came with that that movie. Yeah, you're talking about like the like the dude with like the huge gem on his forehead, like the fucking red skin dude. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think. No. Not remember. I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't know his name. I've seen that special like once, and it was like like tied into like this old like Super Nintendo game. Yeah, it was like a Nintendo Super Nintendo game. Yeah. Yeah. But, but was, yeah, but I wouldn't mind. He he'd be a pretty cool DLC character. I mean, that special wasn't all that great, but I mean, it's like if we're also bringing in uh, movie characters, I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah, bring in Thirteen Engine Number. I mean, mm. to me, he looks like he looks like if Jiren got armor. <laughs> And lost the Sharing God. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I mean, like, I, I guess, uh, like, I, it's been, like, ages since I've seen that special, so I don't know what his moves are. Mm. That's a character I would want, though. Uh, Janemba. Oh, for sure, dude. My brother and I would just oh, yeah. lose our shit. Although, mm. should we should we bring in the, you know, this, the special needs yellow dragon form? Or what just the purple form? The purple mm. would be fucking crazy. Mm. I mean, I, <laughs> nobody even remembers that yellow form. I remember the yellow form. That said, though, it's just kind of like... Like no, I said, you... nobody remembers that yellow oh, form. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, fucking... Like, like, why would you not want to bring in the purple Janemba? No, I mean, I, I oh, want well. to. <laughs> but, but you never know. Now. But you never know. They could... They could do that shit where they just put in a like like maybe just a special attack or one of his super moves where the yellow yellow form just comes in for no reason. Dude, Arxis fucking failed up at that already by not making base Vegeta go uh, great ape. You really think that they would do that? It's doubtful. Yeah. <laughs> like they already dropped the ball hard with that. Seriously. We're giving you Janemba, and it's the yellow version. <laughs> Enjoy! Not only that, but it would be kind of dumb, because then you would have to be like, okay, so this is a guy that takes more than half the screen. you got to fucking fight him. And it's just like, and you'd still... Balancing him would also be like a pain in the ass. Would be different, though. <laughs> <laughs> just confirmed. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want him for... Mmm... Nah, mm. I really wouldn't. I mean, he would have some interesting stuff, because I think, like, for example, the, the the whole stone spit thing would actually be pretty interesting. Mm. But yeah, it would be, actually. But it's just like, um... He wouldn't... I, I don't... He wouldn't be, like, my first pick, honestly. I'd put some Where's movie... my Ninja PyCon? <laughs> no, what did you say? <laughs> uh, I was just gonna say that it's just like, I, I'd have, like, there's uh, other, characters, other characters I'd have before uh, Deboro. Hmm. Make him fat, boo size. Come on, Rowdy. <laughs> Rowdy, where's my ninja PyCon? <laughs> uh, uh, um, mm, no, nah, I think that's pretty much it for that one, right? Yeah. I mean, I think so, yeah. Because, like, fucking, there are, like, I'll say this, though. I have seen some people say, why don't you make a Wii a playable character? And, I'm just, and I'd fucking say the same thing. It's just like, because he doesn't have that many special moves. He hits you with a stick, big deal. Yeah, <laughs> that oh, yeah. can that he's like, like literally stronger than everybody else. But I don't want Weez. I want that hot ass female version that was in oh Vados. Oh Imagine. my god! Yes. Imagine, <laughs> imagine if she's like an alternate color for Weez. <laughs> Wouldn't they have to change some Vados still though a little bit? <laughs> Not really, cause like fucking dude. <laughs> yeah, no. It would still be Weez because I mean, like they've done some shit like that with some of the alternate colors. Hold on, I gotta make sure of something first. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's checking, but um, he's on Pornhub clearly. <laughs> clearly, <Obviously>. rule thirty-four. <laughs> wow, I literally just put Vados, and the first thing I see is tits. All right, <laughs> uh... <laughs> the first thing you saw was what? Tits. <laughs> the sad truth about it is Dragon Ball fans are here. Excuse me, I'm gonna deafen myself. 
You just see his mic just disconnect for like a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> just drops and it's just like, oh, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I missed. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah, her, her costume's different than his. Is it? Yeah. Let me show you. No, yeah, like uh, her costume is different. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just a pic of her just getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Gotta put that away. <laughs> Save that for later. <laughs> no, fucking yeah, like Eddie starts saying, "Share the wealth." <laughs> <laughs> Let me slide that right in there. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm pointing in you. I'm saying share. <laughs> Stop hogging all the good shit. <laughs> Damn you! <laughs> Come on, bro. Don't be like that. Yeah. <laughs> what you gotta do is Show like and tell. <laughs> be a friend, man. Be a friend. You got a friend in me. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, not like this. <laughs> I regret nothing. Oh. <laughs> you heard it here, for folks. Moopsie wants Baker. <laughs> Get in line, bud. <laughs> yeah, I think we hit all the major topics for tonight. Is there um, any other ones we want to hit? Like uh, any host topics? Mm -hmm. Black Ops 4 is going to kill PUBG. I've heard that a lot lately. Uh, I mean, PUBG is going to kill it, PUBG. PUBG's dying already, basically. Yeah, but Black Ops 4 is going to put in the ground. I'm not going to say Fortnite, because Fortnite is a phenomenon. Fortnite is Fortnite. Yeah. But I mean, but... like, you know... That'd be like a, like a like a regular dude can't. like punching out a sick kid. It's just like, what's the point? Hmm. I played I played the beta. I have a funny story to share with you guys. Uh, I, I got think I know what it is. I got a <laughs> kill, kill win. Yeah, I was just about to say I figured it was that one. Yeah, that was actually it. kind of awesome. <laughs> yeah, I got a zero kill win. I I managed to win a battle royale game without killing anyone. Wow. That's wow. actually very impressive. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking next. I did this on purpose. I did not. <laughs> I had such a hard time killing people that that's just that's just how it turned out. He did it with the power of his mind. Now, with that being said, do you think that's a bad thing though, Eddie? What me winning? Me winning a game without a uh, without mm -hmm. killing anyone? Yeah, because I have heard. Like, you're not the first person to tell me that, although there's only, like, two other people. But, like, I feel like... Still counts. That's, that's like, not exactly the greatest thing. You win by doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, but it's Battle Royale. Yeah, I know. It's just, it just seems boring. <laughs> well, the difference between... Well, see, I wasn't purposefully doing that. I just <laughs> sucked so bad that it just... <laughs> how to crumble. I think it would be more like you sucked less than everyone else because the idiot that killed himself. Exactly. Like, 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 <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yes, but but you, you, yeah, but that's just the very nature of battle royale games as it stands. You. But it's I, fucking battle royale. Like, <laughs> try not to suck. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to kill people. I just didn't. It just didn't work, and that's how the cookie crumbled. Hmm. I ended up winning. I ended up winning because. A lot of people will say, well, I got all these kills, but then I died to the person at the end. You know, you still lost. Mm -hmm. So they can hold that L. I won. They lost. I mean, that's basically the point of a battle royale. It's like, it doesn't matter how many, it doesn't matter your stats. It, what matters is if you won or not. Which yeah. is, no, it's fair. I was just wondering, it's just like, it seems relatively boring, though. If you it, didn't... It, it, it was, it <laughs> I'd say it was very boring if killing nobody was my intent from the get-go, but mm. because it wasn't, and that's just how the nature of Battle Royale games turned out, I'll take that W with pride. 
I would no, say fair enough. what they need to do, what it sounds like, is they need to make some adjustments for whatever it was that killed them, which was most likely gravity. So it's just like they got to mess around with some of that stuff to fix it. No, mm-hmm. it was no, it was at the final, it was at the final circle. Well, I was trying. Did, what I'm what I'm trying to say though is like, did did he die by like fall by like jumping off something too high and then killed himself or what? He got put under the stress of the circle closing on them, and also gravity. Yes. Oh, I mean, if that's the case, then either way, he was fucking screwed. So it's just like fuck him. But they had me dead the rights, but because I got away. I ran away out into the open, but they were in the storm, and they just like, well, we got to jump off this roof, and I don't have a shot on them. So they both went down, and then I won. I mean, for, for it's, it's a battle royale, so it doesn't matter what, how you won. <laughs> all that matters is you won. Yeah, definitely. Bitch tactics, but bitch tactics win games. Yeah, so. they, won the, mm. they saved the day. Mm-hmm. No, that was just my thought process. I was just like, it seems kind of weird. Oh, since, it was very... Since Baker... Since Baker won, he is now uh, a battle royale expert. Yeah. What? We now have to turn. To that, that's advice. the rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who made these fucking rules? We were drunk. We were because I'm drunk and wrote them on crayon. Because <laughs> I won. I won some Fortnite battle royale games before. I won like a couple. And clearly, you are a god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's how this works, gentlemen. <laughs> now. Explain that to the it, work, it works enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know the memes. So the, content, the content I have to put on YouTube. I want a game of Blackout. Listen to my tips. Exactly. And people will go to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, stop trying to fight but, it. But mm-hmm. yeah, like I didn't maximize my kills at all. I just minimized my deaths, ultimately, because I didn't die at all. It's like it's like uh, tip number one: give me money so I could buy some uh, Rainbow Six Siege currency. <laughs> <laughs> tip number two: <laughs> keep subscribing to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> tip number three: are you subscribed to my channel yet? <laughs> if not, you bitch made, and you need to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> <laughs> Read step two. <laughs> and and final tip: camp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> See y'all next time. I did, I did win a duos game by myself because my my partner died. See, he's a scrub and you're a god. Yeah. <laughs> god of scrubs. It's like, yeah, she, it's like yeah, you she to got prove fucking, something that you already she, shown. She, yeah, she got she unfortunately got clapped up like some cheeks in the beginning. <laughs> god. <laughs> it be like that sometimes, sunshine. Dude, like not to call, not to like attack, but it's just like I've played a couple uh, games with Raz, and it's just like it's fucking like the, the moment anyone starts shooting at us, she just fucking bolts and like ditches you. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it was good while it, but uh... <laughs> yeah, it'd be like like uh, I'd be we'd, like we'd be playing, and it's just like okay, let's start start uh, gathering materials, start building up here. I fucking uh, uh, I hear a gunshot, and it's just like Raz, and it's like yeet. <laughs> Like See she, you, fucker! She's nowhere to be found. <laughs> like in those, like in those old school cartoons and shit. She's like, "Hey man, where'd you go? You off, you're awful quiet. And you just turn around, you just see nothing but their outline, <laughs> like the smoke cloud." Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, mistakes have been made. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Tip number one: trust nobody. <laughs> <laughs> it's a group combat. I know. <laughs> just like, like, hey guys, I'm happy to be playing with you guys. Like, all right, nerd rule number one: just because we're on the same team doesn't mean we're not in this. <laughs> team killing was when you, kill you, when you die, when you die, I will not hesitate to jack your shit. <laughs> <laughs> you will not hesitate. <laughs> I see somebody else on the opposite team. I will not hesitate. I will leave your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess that's it for Black Ops. Then? Yeah. yeah, it's also. Oh, also, let me just say, here's like a first impression slash review kind of thing. Uh, mm, got it. it is. It runs very smooth. Mm-hmm. It is, despite having 88 people on a big ass map, it ran very well. 
Nice. Of course, of course, of course, with it being a beta, of course, there was like some disconnects and like some bugs here and there, but that's to be expected. It's a fucking beta. Mm -hmm. But overall, gameplay, gameplay and gun feel. Yeah. Even the times I got fucking smacked. Game was cool. Game was good. Are these some shield tactics I hear? No. Shield tactics with Jack. (laughs) That's a pull. Bring that. Bring that back, please. I'm thinking of a game that I need to do that with. So if you have any ideas, by all means, just don't do it as often. My God, it was like every two seconds. (laughs) If you you put it on cooldown and bring it back, something like that. Yeah, I think you. I think it was pretty good, man. Yeah, it like yeah. it wasn't the worst thing, but it was just kind of like I took a shot, chill tactics. It's just like okay, now I'm turning to the left, chill tactics. It's like fuck. <laughs> and drinking game, and you're dead. Oh, I fucking <laughs> be dead before even the halfway point of the video. Good enough. Just like yeah. Also, there was another thing. shoot, chill, chill tactics. <laughs> 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 But no, I'll do it again. I just need a game to do it with. I mean, you gotta be willing to shield, though. That's the problem. Exactly. Because <laughs> it, w- it would have to be like when I played something controversial, your- yours would have to be shield tactics, which is just like, I'm gonna play this game everybody hates for fucking views. <laughs> hey, battle- there's Battlefield. I was just thinking that Battlefield probably would be the game. <laughs> <laughs> Although you'd probably get a lot of hate, too. Hey. <laughs> it doesn't tactics. matter, man. It's, it's the views, man. It's called chill tactics for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> but uh, um, I think you were doing a review, Eddie. Oh right. Yeah, it was. This, it was a pretty. Chill it was a pretty tactics, cool experience yeah. throughout. <laughs> hey, cut that bitch off. <laughs> <laughs> Next call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that was a, no, that's about it. It was like, hey, it was, it was pretty cool. One of the better battle royale experiences I've had. Nice. You know, I like I when I died, I looked at the kill cam, like, okay, I got outplayed here and there. Hmm. Actually, can mm. I make a host topic uh, jumping off of that as a point? No. Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> All right, now we'll get nerfed like Jerry. <laughs> I know, man. I'm never coming back. Um, what I wanted to ask is like, how do you guys feel about like all these battle royale games come coming out? It's like, stupid. It's expected. <laughs> yeah, expected. Expected. Because yeah, because for me, it's kind of like it's expected. It's stupid. It's desperate. These motherfuckers are clearly just hoping to like land another Fortnite. But it's like the problem is Fortnite still exists. Mm-hmm. I. Unfortunately, I also feel as though the wrong companies, like a lot, a lot of the companies that would that are taking the stand against making a battle royale genre, are exactly the people who would benefit the most from making a battle royale game. Mm-hmm. Like, like for example, Call of Duty didn't need to make a battle royale game. Mm-hmm. Ghost Recon's Wildlands, that game would be perfect for battle royale. Mm-hmm. That game, the game is setting the game's already huge open world, and just put some battle royale behind it. It, it, you got something nice there. But because they were so adamant against it, like not even putting it in siege or anything like that. I'm like, yeah, siege didn't need it, but Ghost Recon Wildlands could have got a little bit more popularity from it. I feel the thing about mm-hmm. it too is that it's just like what I feel like is kind of a detriment is that is the fact that like. Fortnite somehow is still able to gouge the absolute shit out of its customers and I mean like let's face it the companies that are, are trying to do the same thing with Battle Royale you know that they're basically just dro- like drooling at the thought of getting that like that much bullshit commerce going in for their games too Mm-hmm. but like also another another thing that they are not doing is that the fact that every other game has forced you, uh, with the exception of H1? Did H1 ever have a price tag on it? Yes, it did. Okay, and then I guess after time, then after it. time, it just kind of went free, which is fair on them. Mm. But another thing that I was going to bring up was that uh, Fortnite does the one. The one thing better than everybody else, and that's remaining free to play. Mm-hmm. That is the one thing, but like, what was it? There was because 
they basically said the 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 price like the, a rough price estimate which is just like just to get like a fucking decent skin in Fortnite you have to pay 20 bucks which is just like you know say whatever you want about like a lot of the games we play none of them actually go that far just to sell you a fucking costume no not at all mm-hmm. but at the, but at the same time a lot of they fall under that free to play shtick and a lot yeah. of people think it's okay because, well, the game is free and we have to make our money somehow in order for in order for us to keep giving you the content that you want. We have to do this. And I mean, like, that makes sense. The big way. thing about it, though, is that it's just like, I still feel like the, like the price, like, it's because it's free in their mind. Mm-hmm. That's what people use as the reasoning to why they're letting themselves get fucking gouged so bad. Because it'll be like, right. well, you know, I would have paid this fucking, like, uh... Like I would have paid this game like sixty bucks, and then I would have been pissed about like what I'm uh, what I'm paying for costumes. I'm still paying mm-hmm. like they're paying even more now if you think about it, because it'll be like you get three costumes, you get a sixty game uh, uh sixty dollar games worth, and Fortnite right. it's basically like a forty dollar game at most. But it, like meanwhile, people are paying like a hundred and eighty fucking two hundred bucks for it. it's just like oh well these are all my skins and fucking let's face it, uh I, I get bored of some of them after like a little bit. It's just kind of like it kind of when you really start to analyze it, it kind of gets pretty pretty bad when you when you really think about like how much money you're actually putting into this free game. Mm-hmm. Which is why people stream it and get all the donations and use that to get the skins and they'd be like yeah it's a the channel man. 12 year olds. No. And then, <laughs> and then yeah, fucking, I, like, I have a big dick and, and <laughs> your girlfriend loves me. <laughs> and then, so like fucking. And it, then you take that mentality, all that reasoning, and then you apply it to like fucking scummy fucking companies. It's just like shit, you know, like no wonder they're just like so desperate for that. But, you know, ultimately it's going to fail. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, let's, let's, let's see less uh, Battle Royales, please. Please, less Battle Royales. But since we're doing reviews, i like to do a review on SNK Harrow. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm just going to make this short and simple. If you want a real fighting game with all that other stuff, not, probably not your game. If you want a party game, by all means, yeah, <laughs> jump you, right on that. <laughs> if you want the fighting game, go for King of Fighters 14. Exactly. There's a reason it exists. <laughs> although, although it makes me laugh because it's like you see, like you guys have seen the Samurai Spirit trailer, right? Yes. Samurai Showdown. Or, well. It's yeah. Samurai Spirits in Japan. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Oh, okay. I want it to be called Samurai Showdown. That's how I know. But, um, things are scary to me. But anyway. <laughs> but, uh, and like Nakaru is going to be in it. And like, it's Fuck just funny how bitch. you. S- I hate her. I Urgh. hate her. But then you see that she's in the, you know, tag team frenzy, and it's like, can you imagine if if uh, Samurai Showdown Nakaru was in tag team frenzy, uh, uh, SNK heroines? So like, when they confront the villain, she just stabs him with her knife, and just like you see all this blood gushing out, and just go min the say, and then this, I, I would be and, like, like all the other. I would be asking, all the other girls are just like yeah. All the other girls are just screaming and like oh my god. I, I'd be like, is there an option to kill Nakaruru? I hate her. <laughs> hey, we would just be like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, and if you want to, if you, I can give you f- uh, four things as to why I absolutely despise Nakaruru. C V S two. I mean, but she wasn't, like, the most broken character in there, though. Of course she was. She was to me. No, so I would like to point you to Sakura, good sir. <laughs> <laughs> Suck her perfect dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she could suck a fuck. <laughs> suck a fuck. <laughs> Sakura, Blanca, and Sagat. You can suck. Sagat, suck it. <laughs> especially. Yeah, he, he's way back. Ba- he's down there, too. But I... I I hated Nakaru. That fucking input reading cunt. <laughs> no, we're talking CPU Nakaru. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the snort. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I didn't All know right. we had DSP on the show. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Cheap shot, I don't know. Very cheap shot. Uh, that was worth. <laughs> <laughs> Link of the Taya tits afterwards. 
<laughs> but, uh, right. What else you got about against Nakaru? Uh, that was mostly it. Just pure. Well, just like that's it. all your rage. <laughs> I feel gypped. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mostly played CBS 2 offline. What do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah. Um, what I was going to say, like, with the most fun thing, surprisingly, which, well, actually, when you think about it, it's not that most surprising about SNK Heroines, is the four player uh, game battle mode. Because. Oh, yeah. Mm, like, you really. It makes it so that it's more interesting. You have to be more strategic with the game itself. Versus the normal modes, which is kind of goofy. Like, I don't understand why your super meter is right on top of your health bar, which isn't even full. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I, cause, like, well, would you recommend? Because I'm interested in getting. Um, like, I like, I guess. Would you recommend to someone who knowing who who knows it's not meant to be a serious fighter? Absolutely. Okay. Go nuts. Have fun with it. <laughs> Especially if you're going to play with friends. Have absolute fun with it. If you are trying to find the next big fighter thing or whatnot, mm, this isn't for you. I take uh, my fighting games very seriously. So yeah, definitely not for you, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> I take my fighting games like I take my women. <laughs> Legal, you uh, hope. Uh, I'm say, really? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, please finish that sentence. <laughs> We're all waiting on pins and needles. <laughs> well, I was trying to think of reasons that didn't sound douchey. <laughs> so you went with the legal. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the ticket. <laughs> I respect women. <laughs> Just in case the FBI is listening, I do not associate with Venom. <laughs> <laughs> and they're already at my door. <laughs> God damn it. And just like that, the FBI is yelling at me to open up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I would. Yeah, I, if I had to give it a rating, I would give it about a six and a half. Dang. Like and as I as Moopsy knows, I rarely give anything above a seven. Uh, and what I do is because it really hit up there uh, with me. So I mean, six and a half. I don't think that's too bad. Mainly because I was expecting more, though. Like I was expecting like more like King of Fighters, but girls really. <laughs> and what I ended up getting was party game with girls. <laughs> I mean, like I guess if anything, what would really have helped the. Because I'm assuming it's a $60 game, and it would have really helped if it was like a $30 to $40 game. Yeah, that definitely would have helped. Um, one thing I did find weird in the game is that it has no lows. Like, it's just, you punch, and that's about it. <laughs> like, it has, like, the jumping and all that other stuff, but, like, no, like, low kicks or low punches or anything weird. Like, I kept trying to do lows. It's just like, this is weird. Why can't I hit you low? <laughs> hmm. Also, there's a block button. Mm -hmm. Ugh. <laughs> uh, there's a block button? Didn't there's work a for block Mortal button. It doesn't work for Mortal Kombat. It should never work. <laughs> it's, I mean, like, this is why I tell Jazz that it's like when fucking Soul Calibur 6 comes out, I'm only going to rent it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 6 out of 5. Yeah, 6. 6.5. That's 6 out of 5. Wow, it must be amazing. Uh, <laughs> 6 out of 5. Hi, <laughs> G. <laughs> Just the right amount of water. Uh, Just a 1.25 approval rating? Holy shit. <laughs> so, uh, any other host topics? Nah, not really. Nah, that's, a, that's about it for me, too. Yeah, I think I've hit everything I've wanted to hit. Stop hitting things, then, Jess. You better not be hitting me. Oh, uh, I mean, no, I have to be like Jiren. Punch! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, then, thank you so much for joining us on the 11th episode of the No Name Podcast. Uh, who wants to do a sign out? Not everybody jump at once. I know, right? Not everybody. <laughs> okay, guys, then. Uh, all right, so then, I've been your host, Mr. Moopsy. 
Fucking someone go, god damn it. Uh, that's it? <laughs> no plugs? I'm you not... have a Twitter now. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Saying, like, like, I'll go less, as mm. I always do. All right. Fine. So, yeah, I forgot. I almost forgot. The, uh, we got we to gotta plug our shit. Because uh, I have a... <sighs> I have a Twitter. Um, About damn time. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me uh, on at Twitter, whatever the fuck you put in there, Mr. Moopsy. I managed to snag the name. Uh, I, uh, I, follow me also on Twitch. I'm mostly going to be focusing on doing the streams because I, uh, I have said on many occasions that, like, you know, I'm working on a video. Thing is though that because the uh, the semester started and this is a class I really need to pass if I want to fucking transfer, I'm gonna have to put that shit on the back burner. So I'm just gonna be mostly doing like streams. Uh, I have the schedule set up on my streams. I have uh, all my social medias on my uh, on my page. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> put in your descriptions. Yeah, I have my the the social media is on my descriptions uh rowdy if you'll just check below the channel you'll see an awesome banner i made yeah rowdy get with the times <laughs> get with the banners <laughs> uh, so then yeah fucking follow me on youtube follow me on uh twitter follow me on this other website jasta said like that i mentioned <laughs> uh, i shuddered at the thought of it <laughs> yeah, uh, follow me wherever you like. Just come check out my videos. Uh, well, my streams. I stream uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And tomorrow, I am actually going to stream Bloodborne. Hey. All streams at six thirty Pacific Standard. Nice. That was a horrible plug. <laughs> Thanks, Rowdy. Alrighty, I guess I'll go next. Uh, you can follow me at everything jazz. I am, next month is going to be a very hectic month for me with Soul Calibur 6 coming out, as well as all the Halloween spooky stuff. Also my birthday, so yay for that. Um, I didn't plug my birthday. Well, I mean, your birthday's like there too. You could have done it. Like, <laughs> just, just do it. <laughs> what a birthday shill. <laughs> well, then you're not shilling right. But... <laughs> <laughs> But, um, what else was I going to say? Damn you, Moopsy. <laughs> um, right now, I'm having a giveaway possibility if I reach 100 subscribers by my birthday, which is October 31st for Soul Calibur 6. So, if y'all are interested in that, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Um, do it. I mean, if you don't want Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> <laughs> but, um,. Right now, I'm doing more of the Resident Evil stuff, and by October, I should be doing Resident Evil 5 with Moopsy, so that should be fun to watch. Plug. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm and doing. We got, we, got, we got RE 5 and 6. Yes. Um, And I oh. think... What's up? Well, I was going to say, well, then there's me. That you can check my channel. Well, don't interrupt his Venom 8. Damn it, Venom! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, never mind. Sorry. Just whatever. <laughs> Happy <laughs> September, guys. <laughs> you really did. <laughs> go ahead, Venom. All right, there you go. <laughs> All right. So you guys can check my channel out. Hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Michael from Beast. Your boy. Uh, uh, it's Venom eight seven five four two. Right now, I'm doing a, a let's play of Observer, and that's just a clusterfuck of weirdness. So be sure to check it out, and I will hopefully upload the whole game. So yeah, just keep an eye out for it. And that's my plug-in. Your boy, Venom. <laughs> Skinny penis. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, Eduardo. It's your boy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank all of you for watching the No Name Podcast. This has been your lovely host by the name of Baker. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want. A uh, bit of a celebration. I did hit a milestone. I hit 350 subscribers like a day or two ago. And 
there's no particular celebration that I have for that. It's just that the grind won't stop. It never stops. It never stops. My guides are gonna continue for the characters that I did like a full guide on. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna completely redo. I'm just gonna do the things that changes and if it matters at the end of the day or not. Did my Yoshimitsu? What? Say that again, Moose. Wait, what? I missed that too. <laughs> I, I said they're not Yoshimitsu. No. Did you say I mean... Jushimitsu? <laughs> <laughs> Yoshimitsu. <laughs> Okay, I thought you said Jew Shimitsu. I was like, Yoshimitsu's not a Jew? At least I don't think he is. <laughs> hey, I'm, I wanna I'm, I wanna stab you with my sword. <laughs> I'm fairly certain he's Japanese, but <laughs> hey, what do I know? Exactly. Don't let me assume it. <laughs> but I appreciate everybody for watching. Please take care of yourselves. And we will see you guys Wait. next time. And this Bitch. is a legit God damn it. I was I Bitch. hey Jess, you told me to do this and so fucking uh before I forget, I there is something I did want to show off because fucking we did talk about this earlier, Jess. Let's see if I can fucking find it. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> because I believe we are also of the tradition of sharing shit I draw. Yes. And so, before I forget, I wanted to throw this up on screen because nobody reminded me, so I had to remind myself. Post it in the Discord, too. Yeah, I'm going to post it right there right now. Because if, yeah, I, well, I, if I do it from it my computer... I'm, I'm doing it from my phone because if I do it from my computer, then I have to go through a bunch of naughty pictures. <laughs> and all I'm saying is share the wealth, man. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about me, man. Wow, you I would like to partake in the sharing. Of the... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's on the uh, it's on the main podcast channel. Oh, that's a nice color. The, the, uh, the good Is color. Another fucking JoJo reference mixed with Dragon Ball Z. Yep, I drew this. It took me All right. like forever. <laughs> it look it looks really good, but why the hell do you have the top of Goku's gi on like that? Uh honestly, because I just literally I I couldn't think of a way to like fucking. Like, mess around his gi so, like, I could fucking make it look more like JoJo colors, so to speak. You could have just let that nigga wear a shirt. <laughs> or be I... shirtless. <laughs> JoJo's Dragon Balls. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> but, I mean, because, like, honestly, like, the biggest reason I wanted to draw this is just because I wanted to fucking uh, mix Goku's hair physics with JoJo's fucked up hat physics. Everybody's a critic. I <laughs> and so I was just kind of like, you know what, why not? I, I decided, like, you know, like, I want to draw it, so fuck it, I'm going to draw it. That's my boy. And so, you know, taking like a...